go. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. So after I reconnect, we can slowly start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey everyone, uh, this is the second session. So, last time we finished, everybody made it to the dungeon. Where... How are we? Venek is somewhere far away. How did I get there? Who carried me? I did! Nice. Thanks. No problem. Uh, I was thinking... Uh... Uh, I saw in the new rules uh, about sanity and uh, Jan, we could uh, get her out of there by uh, inflicting damage. That's kind of me the gaming because <laughs> didn't know at the time if I were to punch her. I'm not sure if that works, but I mean you can try it in game and see what happens. So, so, do we roll, we roll uh, for sanity or something? Or how does it, this work? So basically, everybody gets a new stat, sanity, 18 plus 4. And you can only lose it over time. Okay. And when I say rolls for sanity, then roll for sanity with whatever bonus you just have at the moment. Mm, so, uh, can we find it actually in our character sheet? or? How yeah, is in it? your character sheet, I put it under tools. Um... Under tools. I don't have it, but I could add it. Should I add it? <laughs> yeah, I think I found it. Sanity I Pro Force. Hey guys, sorry. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Wait, what did you say? Hey guys. Sorry. Uh. Yeah, he's sorry for being late. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Six minutes, it's okay. Yeah. Well, well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not with the party anyway, so that should be fine. Uh. Yeah, you were busy running away. I was busy surviving. Oh, yeah, Mr. Prince. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't have uh, the sanity thing. Uh, are you sure you don't have it uh, below, like uh, below passives? No, he doesn't. I made it just for you. Oh. Actually, no, someone else. I saw someone else rolling a bit ago. Yeah, he made his own. <laughs> okay, then I feel VIP. Yeah. Should I make my own? Or... Sh yeah, uh, you can edit. You will not need it in the immediate second. Basically, where we finished last time, that you made it to the dungeon, and you saw dragon crash, bronze dragon crash on the house above you, with its back apparently falling from the sky. And it's not moving. Oh, yeah. But we are downstairs right now, mm -hmm, and yeah. I'm unconscious, am I? Mm-hmm. Yep. So I was paralyzed, and... Uh... He was unconscious? Yep. Ooh. Okay, I might start this with uh, punching Jan. That uh -huh. work? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> According to uh, the new. Uh, well, the, the DM needs to say if it works because I don't know. No, it doesn't. See. Okay, uh, so... But you lose one HP. Oh, well, oh. thank you! <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, I can't even say that. <laughs> so it's time to get out of here, yeah?
Well, you can wait, and perhaps Rosie Sorry. will meet you again. Yeah, we should uh, get out of here, but uh, it will uh, be hard climbing that uh, tunnel. Oh yeah, with the unconscious folk, maybe we should just wait it out. Yeah, uh, we should maybe hide them. How is, How is the, the... Uh, setting down here uh, with the sound and stuff? Because it's pretty chaotic upstairs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, upstairs is still the chaos. There's a battle, uh, monsters all over the place. Dragon falling from the sky. There's a lot of shit going on there, and but... a lot of people going insane. Down here, there's a ton of noise coming from upstairs, but it's just relatively deep, so you don't hear so much noise. Was the entrance uh, blockaded by something, like the roof or something? Yeah, now it's blocked by the f dead dragon. Oh, okay. Seems pretty safe. It's dead. Um, by the way, uh, can we estimate how deep down it's uh, this place? Like, how many meters about? At least five, six meters under the ground. The stairs were kind of long. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go chill out with my buddy Eskai here in what was once, what I think is the salon, number four, until hopefully he comes to. Yeah, I take a jump to that place too. So and uh, I shut the door. How are you carrying me? I'm dragging you. Oh. <laughs> That's so romantic. <laughs> Lovingly. I expected you to be strong. Looks forward. I hope you'll be a bit more gentle with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I will carry you like a princess. Oh, well, thank you. I feel so good. <laughs> Try to not, uh, knock your head on the door. <laughs> After this, you this, punch uh... me, yeah, I guess. So. I got bad conscious. <laughs> I conscious for that. Well, I'm still, I still can speak, actually, in game. Yeah. Does she know that I punched her? I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm, I'm paralyzed. Well, not you know? now. She might suspect that she was hit by something when she wakes up and it hurts. Yes. <laughs> Are you Get kidding me? me? Don't rat me out, uh, here. <laughs> Don't worry, she fell on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did. Okay, as you're waiting, you notice that the body of the dragon sometimes shakes a bit. But that's about it. And so... you can wait it out for a few minutes. Venek, in a few minutes, you realize you find yourselves in the middle of the tunnel and you have only a hazy idea of what just happened. Okay, I think I just try to orientate myself where the fuck I am. And the NFR and Escort wake up and have no idea what happened. Uh, but when I get yeah. in the escape tunnel, there's nobody in front of you, nobody behind you. I'll... Do I know which direction I'm going? Yeah. Okay, I keep going. The second I wake up, I will take the bottle of brandy I hid before, and I will just sweep the whole bottle. Good for the sanity. <laughs> I think so, yeah. You drink yourself unconscious after coming. <laughs> the second I wake up, uh, I'll look totally confused and be like, uh, what the hell just happened, guys? Why are we back here? Why why are we down? I mean, weren't we supposed to break the gate, you know? Yeah, what so happened? So what happened? I see you. Well, it's hard to describe. But it looks like some kind of demonic entity may have broke through and drove the town insane. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I, I misheard you. <laughs> Did you just say demonic? <laughs> uh, well, hold on. Let me say it another way. Some mm. kind of demonic entity entered the town and drove it insane. Demons, come on! <laughs> you know, sorry, I wasn't born yesterday, so... <laughs> you know, I don't really believe in demons and stuff, so from where does, did you got this one out? Does Escot know uh, what class uh, Jennifer is? Oh, yeah, you know she's a warlock. Yeah, okay. And you know each other's classes. And also, <laughs> demons are more like stuff of legends and, you know, the fa scary fairy tales for children. Yeah, exactly, that's why Jen uh, Jennifer is reacting like this. Oh. Yeah, Wait, and, uh, you have no connection us. to demons? What? Uh, Not all no. warlocks had that. 
Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Escort. Um, I understand you like a story for kids, but I think we're kind of past that moment. So, well, can you please tell me for real what's happened? Oh, and by the way, why is why is my shoulder hurting? Anyone knows <laughs> anything? Uh, something came down. Uh, if you check up the stairs, you can see that the, there's a dragon. Yeah. Uh, a a fucking dragon as well. Fucking angel of death. What did I miss? Dragon. Okay, so and what happened with dragon? Us, that bitch. Who? Our uh, cleric. Who could have guessed? Us? Uh, what are cleric betray us? What? How do you know yeah. that? <laughs> we barely came out alive. <laughs> well, you were uh... saying, you, you, like, for a few minutes you were telling me about some demons, you know, and I don't know what, coming out from I don't know where. So you're telling me about fairy tales and story for kids, and now what? you suddenly tell us, uh, tell me how uh, Rosie betrayed us. So can you be a bit more specific because you're making zero what? sense to me? Uh, you you remember the evil, the great evil you sensed uh, before you got unconscious? Mm, do I? Yeah, yes, do I? That, uh, it's sort of hazy. Mm. You remember something like shocking you so much that you fell and con lost consciousness? Mm, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't really remember much what happened exactly. Well, that happened. <laughs> Hell broke mm. loose. Uh, all the uh, people in the town uh, got into a frantic left, and uh, our soldiers we don't know. So basically, you are telling me that okay, so demons came in this world, <laughs> which is like okay, I don't believe it till I see it myself. <laughs> no offense. And <laughs> after that, Rosie betrayed us, so she somehow had something to do with those demons because I guess she wasn't affected. Yeah. Let me paint and, you a wonderful picture of the demon here, and I've sketched one in my little notebook. <laughs> I'm gonna show her. <laughs> Make a performance check. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> that's so bad. Hey, that's pretty good. It's actually a pretty good painting. <laughs> Bard of Bards. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen this in the uh, fairy tales story, or actually no, more like kids for story, uh, story for kids, yeah. This thing paralyzed you so hard that uh, our friend over here punched you square across the cheek and you didn't even feel it. Hey! Oh, so basically it was you! I, I thought it would wake up. Uh, so I'm sorry. you didn't, you said it was um, a dragon, I don't know what? Shit happened, okay? <laughs> Hmm, we will see about that. You may punch me back if you want. Oh, don't worry. It will come back, but not, not right now. Okay, so... By, by the way, where is uh, Venik? Uh, that coward ran away. Long ago. So, oh my gosh, fucking I prince! I believe he called Who? it surviving. Who the... <laughs> yeah. Why would you be called a prince if the first thing you do when something bad uh, happens, you're it's just run away? Well, he's uh, he's still young. Haven't mm, aren't we all young? Battle yet, I think. Do I find out something at the dragon? Oh, give me perception. Oh, I did investigation. I don't know if perception. Okay. Mm. Mm. By the sound, it sounds like something is in it. Pretty fast. I did. How it shakes is like something bites into it and tears out the flesh and chews it. I will make this uh, dramatic movement move with my arm and reveal the claw I've been hiding up my sleeve and I will uh, carve the dragon, try to carve it through the scales. Open it up. Do you want to cut through dragon scales? Yeah, if, if that's possible. Like, find a soft spot. Okay, give me inside for the soft spot. Right. <laughs> okay. Now you can roll me d20 if you succeed. Okay. Actually, strength. Athletics check. Athletics. Oh, shit. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, your claw slides on it. 
Hmm. It would need something bigger, stronger, you know. Hey, Luxford. He's a bronze <laughs> dragon. Hey, man. Uh, all right. Um, this way. Use your sword. <laughs> There's something in I, it. I'll help you out. Uh, but we have to get out of here immediately. Uh, if Ashir and Jan could uh, get to the tunnel and help Venik, if something happens to him, it would yeah. be terrible. Find Venik for us and uh, prepare an escape route. We will investigate here. Are you here. sure you guys want to be alone? Here? Yes. Okay. I will protect him. Well, we'll catch up with you. We know where the tunnel is and stuff, and uh, if something happens, just uh, run this way. Or something. Don't need to tell me twice. Bye. No, Bye. I think I will go for <laughs> sure for the exit. All right. Uh, is it uh, athletics? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, I don't know uh, what you were trying to do, but it looks like it failed. Yeah, I can't get a grip on it. That, that dragon. All right, get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. Interesting. Let's run. So, do we find Venik uh, oh. at the entrance here, or he's way yeah, somewhere Yeah, he'll be else. at the exit. Okay. So, as you get from the exit, you see that. Uh, there is Venek outside, and he's talking to some man. Uh, the man is like one meter, one meter ninety, in chainmail armor, some shield on his back, long sword by the chest. And so he looks like on the picture, and he doesn't have any symbols anywhere. And he greets you. Ah, you seem to be his companions. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Whose companions? Well, here, Prince Venex. Oh. I guess. Oh, you mean the coward Venic, right? Yes. Well, I, f I personally thought you were dead. Everybody give me perception. So, first of all, you hear the utter chaos out outside the city and everywhere. And also you notice how the man stands there that sometimes a leaf fall f falls from a tree and like flies through him directly. Hmm. Uh, I'll put my uh, hand on him, like on his shoulder. And your hand passes through. Who are you? Hmm. I was, I was wondering how long it will take you to notice that. Not very long. Are you a ghost? <laughs> I'm a Ryle. And no, I'm not a ghost. I'm something different. But I'm... Frankly, how the hell do you see me? I mean, I was supposed to, you know, him perhaps had something, but there's five of you. Apparently, all of you can see me. I think there was a beast who made us insane, and I think we're hallucinating you, so... <laughs> Sounds yeah. good. No, don't so, worry. We didn't go insane. We can see him. Oh, that's true. So, uh, how do you know Venik? Or, Venik, how do you know the, the man ghost, you know? The... Well, I just met him, and this is crazy. So he stopped you from being a chicken, or...? Well, that stopped by itself when I escaped. Ah, oh, okay. I fulfilled the mission. So, what <laughs> happened? What do you know about what happened? Well, what do I know? Okay, uh, Ryle, well, maybe you can tell us what's happening here, please. Oh, you know, I have no I would, idea. I would really want to know what's happening, because my friends here are talking about some fairy tales, some story for kids, some demons, I don't know what. Well, did you just say the dragon? I you... frantically show him the painting. Look, it's this thing! <laughs> look well, at it. Well, he yeah. points up to the sky, and if you look up, you see that there are some, you know, monstrous creatures flying there. Not dragons, look smaller, with a lot of spikes, wings, and long tail. Oh, okay. See? Yeah, sorry um, guys. Um, by the way, Exhale, uh, mm. when we were in the town and opened the gates, uh, did we see the, uh, uh, the general there? No. But we did see his men, right? Storming mm -hmm. the fortress. Yeah, they were sieging the city. Uh, okay. Uh, you hear some like smaller group approaching you. Somewhere through the forest, somebody's running to you, like a smaller group of people. Do we have the thing? It's like friendly or not? 
how do you want to tell apart? Well, okay. do we recognize them? Like at least you don't see them; you just see the steps. Okay, only steps. I would Wait. Uh... steps like moving or moving towards us, as far as I understand. Ah. Swift running. We can hear them, not Yukata. see them. Yeah, hear them. The uh, the forest is pretty thick, so you cannot see too far. Okay. okay. Does it sound like armored steps? I just rolled a twenty-two on perception. Like, does it sound like heavy, arm heavy mm, armor? Not heavy or... armor. It sounds like humans. I will. I will try but to. But not too heavily armored. Swiftly climb a tree and uh, try to scout ahead through the treetops. And give me perception. Oh fuck! <laughs> Never mind. You climb to the tree, yeah. and the branch slips, and you fall to your back. Oh, that uh, is very skilled. Can I try again? <laughs> Hitting yourself on a root for five damage. Oh fuck! And this is gonna hurt for a bit. Damn. You hear shouting, Prince Vanek. Okay, he's friendly. Fuck it. And they are running somewhere not towards nothing. you. Like they are passing you by a bit. Uh, do I recognize the voice? No. I will so you protectively said it's not where are in front you? of him. Does it sound friendly or does it sound like mocking? Sounds friendly. And um, like, uh, that they are in a hurry. Does the ghost react in any way? Nope, he's looking around. Apparently, give me insight. Rolling like a god. He... Uh, he seems to have like no idea what's going on. He's trying to look around, looking at the trees, trying to figure out like so uh, the sides of the. Basically, where is he? What's going on? You know, more like examining the place. He's just as confused as we are. Uh, well, oh, how did you got here? here actually? You oh, oh, that's a grand story, which I might tell you one day. Wait, there was someone shouting in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah so starting for me. Can I can I run like away from the group? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, since since I'm mostly quiet in the army and stuff, uh, nobody recognizes my voice, except like the high rank people. So I will uh, shout out uh, to the person shouting over here. Okay, okay. they'll run to you. You see that some group of scouts from the army, your army. Okay, can, can I stealth before they appear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Do we see that? I mean, if, it, if <laughs> my rolls. So, yeah, you are <laughs> hiding behind the tree and somebody bumps into you. Ah, I remember you. <laughs> but I. Okay. I As I see the. Where, the, where the, is the uh, prince? We were sent by the general to find him ASAP. Yeah, when I, see, I will when I see the take armor, them I walk to the, the Vendik. I will leave them there. A bunch of soldiers uh, come to you. They are the scouts, and basically, yeah, the message is simple. General needs. They send the general sent them to look for you, but they didn't know where the entrance is, so they are like searching around, hoping to find you, and shouting like idiots. Yep. In in any case, give me a report. What's happening? Uh, it's total chaos. So these things started appearing and are killing and eating everything if they meet. Is the general is the general retreat uh, retreating? Yeah, we lost like we are, we have massive losses so far. We are holding at one of the gates, trying to re regroup the forces so we can make an orderly retreat. Very well. Where's the meetup spot? Here. Here. They are okay. holding there the outer gate. So far, oh. holding. All right. Let's make haste. Yeah, yeah. let's go there. Uh, give me uh, perception check. I will ask Rel to follow us, really. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Not my day. Uh, Escort, you have a feeling that like the things flying up on the sky are like making circles roughly around you. That they are like. Moving with you, what's that? Okay, I will tell mm, Vennick we, talk... we should get out of here right now because there's flying things above us. You're us. talking about the demons or what uh, exactly? 
Why yeah, don't. Things? Take a look for yourself. Let's go. Yeah, let's run. One of them flies a bit closer. They look like this. There's like four or five of them. Shit. But how they have the bigger wingspan, they clearly cannot get through the trees. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll keep running, hiding in the trees. You can give me stealth checks. Oh fucking hell! Luxford is gonna fuck this up so hard. It's a group check. Oh, um... <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Escott. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. Uh, you, see, you feel like they lose it after a bit. So without much problems, you get through the forest, over the river. And you see the army being positioned like around this gate, around this area, trying to hold it. Against both <laughs> the flying demons and the walking ones. There is some hastily assembled tent. Behind the lines where... The others are the soldiers are gathering, coming, leaving. At the first look, that's the general stand. By the way, um, when the soldiers regrouped with us, um, did they recognize Rail's presence at all? No. No. Okay. I mean, they even went through him without a problem. Oh, okay. He remarked, like, "Hey, that's rude." <laughs> he, and he's still with us. Mm hmm. Okay. Damn. Well, I guess. Uh, are there guards in front of the tent? I guess not. Otherwise, I'm just going in. You see, uh, General Barfurio, he's lo lo lightly wounded in the tent, desperately trying to... Desperately moving around with the maps, shouting orders around. Ah, good, at least you're still alive. General, Do you have any we... idea what happened? Well, apparently some demons or monsters were summoned. Ro what, what was the name? Rosaria? Rosa Rosary? Rosaria. Yeah. Rosaria. Rosaria. She was Rosie. a traitor. Yeah, traitor. Ah, that's, that's wonderful. What the fuck what? are these things? Well, mm, you know, actually, I have a question before we are talking. We continue with uh, what are those things? Uh, General, no offense. Uh, for how long do you know Rosie? Uh, she's been serving with the army for three years in my army for a year and a half. And uh, you never suspected that she would work for the bad guys, let's say? How? She was one of our best healers, always faithful. And how come suddenly she's just going and it's finishing whatever they were finishing there? Because she, once we got in the city, she I just was finished. hoping you would tell me. But well, once we got in... And saw it. I think one, she's one. trying to take us both out at the same time. I think yep, she yep. served something entirely different. Once we repa uh, prepared the, the explosives, we just disappeared, and only reappeared after the monsters showed up. And she made sure to throw a fireball at us. I don't think you know that. But, but yeah, I, I'm I pretty definitely... sure. Uh, I'm, I, I when she did it, before. you were unconscious. Okay, never mind. I don't. Yeah, I was there. Can I Arcana check to see if I know any of these things? Mm-hmm. In any case, we don't know for sure what kind of things they are. Or do we? Oh, uh, well, you know demons that they are mostly stuff of mythology. Nobody has really <laughs> seen... There has been no confirmed demon sighting in at least a hundred years. What about dragons? No, dragons are very common at your okay. side. And sort of the mythology is that the dragons chase the world... The dragons chase the demons out of the world and protect it from it. Okay. I think because General, the demons worked for the gods. I think, General, we're experiencing the beginnings of a revolt. Because those are demons. By the way, there was some kind of device prepared inside of the gates. So the town has something to do with it as well. Not yeah, only definitely. Rosario. Well, in any case, General, I don't think we can win this battle. We're yeah, well, it. I've noticed. I'm trying to draw some escape plan. So, basically, here's the deal. And I need to make some visibility. Because uh -oh. I suspect you cannot see anything. I know these mountains. <laughs> I don't. Oh, no, it's visible. Good. <clears throat> you are roughly somewhere here. 
at the Tower of the Wraith Brains. Now, uh, there are two general directions where you can go. Either like along the north edge of the mountains, or somewhere south-ish. Now, now from the interesting points where uh, there, there, are, there are two cities, so, well, in in reach. One of them is Clegro, oh, which happens to be the place of one of the top magical academies in the world. Vote. Well, I, yeah, I guess we we know already where we are going. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's the whole city of mechanic. Kimmich, which is around around the north. The to the to the west, it's inaccessible. To the north, up north, it's inaccessible because there's the edge of the mountains. And yeah. Which way is safer? Uh, none of them are safe. <laughs> okay. By the way, as for the climate, this is sort of the around the equator of the world. Okay. Good. Where there's mostly. Sand, savanna, among along the mountains. Okay. I've always wanted to see Clow Grove. Well, in any case, we need to to look up on these things. I guess we know where we have to. I follow you guys, Prince. Okay. Uh, what's that important? Sounds... What's important in the second town? Because I don't uh, recall hearing anything important about it, except the fact that it's almost un unaccessible. Which town? The second one, because the, the first ruins. one is uh, related to magic, and the second one? Uh, it's normal town with a small fortress. No. Okay. So nothing interesting, basically. So maybe Clegro uh, 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 does uh, know stuff, something about this. Hopefully. Well, maybe we should send the army uh, to the west, and we go south. Yeah, guys, you know, let me say something. Last time we were very in rush and didn't try to discover a bit our companion at all, and we ended up being betrayed. And this time I would actually want to find out more about our ghost friend here. So, excellent. An excellent question he answers. The question is, how do you intend to find anything about me? And how do you intend, intend to stop me from following you should I decide that I want to? I can just uh, ignore you completely and I can ask my friends to do the same. So if you decide to not want to cooperate with us and tell us a few more information about you, we can just pretend that you don't exist. Since I'm, gonna you not, I'm not sure how much we actually exist. No offense. That's, that sounds is, excessively amusing. Is the general thoroughly confused by this? Yeah, I, I was about to address the general. I'm going to say, ex excuse late Jennifer, Jennifer here. She's. Uh, of course, I'm not going to have this things. conversation in front <laughs> of the general. <laughs> the like, yeah. You know, of course, I'm not doing that in front of the general or any anyone yeah. else that is not from our group. General, excuse me, we are assuming that she has brain damage now. Yeah. Guys, for fuck's sake! I just said I'm not doing it in front of the general. <laughs> a severe case of brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry He's for seeing stuff. You. Things from you know those uh, kid kid stories. She, she's she can't Guys! stop talking about him. <laughs> Guys, I'm not doing this in front of the general or anyone else that it's not from our group because I figured out already. He said that he's surprised that we can see him. Yeah. Well, uh, general, as, as general sees the confusion, he's like, "Well, we have seen a lot of people going insane in pa or half insane in the past a few hours, so we're not, I'm not surprised by anything now." Anyway, yes. the plan. I can try to move the army towards to reach, and hopefully we'll somehow make it. And if you head to the Clag Road, well, you might help a lot. That's welcome. So, will the soldiers escort us, or...? Well, there's a question. How large of a group would you like to have with you? Well, it's well, small as possible. possible. Small oh, army for this prince. <laughs> I don't know, an army is easier to see from the air. And yeah, as yeah. we know, they can fly. Sure, sure, sure. And we can move faster without an army. <laughs> yep. And th these four I trust. Yeah, we should be fine on their own. And we have been betrayed before, so... I would suggest that it's just, just the four of us. Ah, the five of us. Do we need to resupply on the trip, or should Definitely. we just restock here and 
Did we eat anything? Well, it has been a while. I I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of my rations and just start chewing him. Uh, how long uh, travel is it? Uh, it's like five, five to six days, depending on how straight you go. So we got the provision for it. I could use like two rations more. Or yeah, something. you can restock but whatever I, rations yeah, you need from the. I, also, you can get horses. Ooh. Yeah. Now we're talking. I will get. Okay. Do we roll for horses? I'm a horse up. Do we okay, so... do we roll for uh, yeah? What roll me D twenty for each horse. Okay, nice. <laughs> Can we add animal handling? Get fucked. Oh damn, <laughs> Prince Vanek, of course. Oh. Of course, Vanek gets the best horse. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Jen forgets a donkey. Board. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Vanek. <laughs> Uh, Luxford and Eshi have a boar horse, everybody else normal horse. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, I think I have a donkey. Yeah, donkey, donkey, donkey. <laughs> they don't have donkeys. I get the most gracious of all the war horses. By the way, note it somewhere how good a horse is. Because I'm not going to remember it. Okay. I'll so, just... where should I note, put that? Uh, tools. Somewhere in the character sheet. I'm naming mine after my dragon. <laughs> I'm named after my dragon. Oh. Well, my parents named me after my dragon. And features. Well, anything else I can do to help you? The general asks. No, oh, no. Oh. Uh, general, do you have any advice on the safest path of travel? <laughs> Well, normally the safest path will be the fastest one, but I'm not sure if nothing will be following you. I mean, he looks up, points up, these fine things are all over the place. That's a fair point. So perhaps the most wooded path? Perhaps. Anyway, do the, for sure know that the forest uh, they itself, can... sometimes it's rumored to have, dry, to have dryads in it who do not like people, in general, on average. They've never met me. <laughs> okay. So, do we just walk across the whole thing? Right? We're probably around. Yeah, so I ask uh, the ghost, uh, uh, who are you? Well, yeah. name We're traveling now, right? I am some, a type of spirit, let's say, and I'm looking for someone or something. What are you looking for? Well, I need somebody who's really good at blood magic. I mean, uh, I mean <laughs> I'm sure dragon spawns know about it, so but I, I just need somebody really good at it. I think you want that's to be one, resurrected? Uh, yeah, I... I once knew a half elf wizard who was. <laughs> well, give me a card check. <laughs> Sounds like a really cool character. Huh, I've heard of this blood magic stuff. Oh, you have a very rough idea that something like blood magic existed, but it's been banned and done research for many, for hundreds of years. What would a ghost want with blood magic? Excellent question, because I need a body. Oh, you dark. Let's just say that whatever I need is a bit of physical nature. So I need a body, and well, blood magic is the way to craft a body. A spirit could, uh, could possess. Is a goblin enough for you? No. Yeah, come. And it, I have a very specific design. He draws on paper, which has a lot of runes on it. 
Oh. You should be able to create it by the design. Picky, eh? That is fascinating. Does it look like me? <laughs> mm, th there's no picture. It's like a lot of magical inscriptions and wounds on a pretty long parchment of paper. I have no idea what you're is doing. Is there any hope of like interpreting or reading that? Yeah, you can you know roll for Arcana. It. Could I do like decipher languages as a ritual? Would that help any? Well, if he lets you. Let's try the Arcana roll. Mm -hmm. mm. It's some like it's magical inscriptions. It looks a bit like dragon speech, but draconic wounds. But it's old, like old style. He's like, come on, uh, I know dragons made the bad magic. This is dragon world. You are dragon spawns. Don't tell me nobody knows anything about it. Are you not from here? Are you let's even say, real? Let's say I'm not from around. Well, no shit. Okay, so where would uh, would you choose to go if you were us? <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Are you from this world? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Ugh. Let's just get this over with. Get this ghost off our backs. <laughs> Needless to say, I can actually offer something in return. Who even asked not. him to come along? Well, unfortunately I like for you, I have nothing better to do for the time being. Can you teach me anything? Perhaps. But it would have a cost. Oh, oh god, I already hate it. Everything has a cost. <laughs> well, of course it does. After all, you're dragon spawns. Ugh. Oh, can't you annoy someone else? Come on. Who asked him along? He's my friend now. Well, yeah, then you'd go take care of him. You take him for walks and you feed him. Take care I don't of his need ghost feeding. poos. In any case, let's keep going. Uh, okay, you go on horses? Any, or any strategy to the going? Well, avoid mountains. Follow forests as far as possible, if there's any. Not much, there's like a <laughs> oasis here and there, small barns, sometimes a patch of trees. But generally this is mostly savanna, so hmm. long plains. In any case, we would need some shadow to uh, to rest during the day and probably walk during the night or ride during the night. Is this Savannah? Yep, I agree. But yeah, any way is as good as any other. Get out of the Savannah as soon as possible. Hmm. I don't Something know. Does like. Is the area more dangerous during the night? Do we know? Mm. Can I do a history check? Yep, give me a history check. Something like this. Well, it's kind of hot during the day and kind of cold during the night. Most things come out during the night. On the other hand, it, the, the heat is kind of, let's say, dangerous. Yeah, exactly. I'd rather be awake during the night than asleep if things come out. Yeah, yeah, that's the first thing. And the second thing is we will get exhausted way faster during the day. So Also now it's like 4 in the morning, so it'll be... The sun yeah. will be coming up in like 2 hours. Yeah, so we will we will travel kind of the line I drew, along the line I drew, and look for any shadowy spots past the day. You can make it somewhere... The two hours you can look at somewhere here to the mountains. The question is what type of shadowy spot you're looking for. Because here it's most to Savannah, so you need to go to mountains. Uh, yeah. In the well, two hour distance, you can either stay somewhere around the tower, because how there's the water here, there is some green forest, but that ends here at the edge of the mountain. Well, or you need suggest... to go somewhere to the mountains, rocks. I would high. suggest we, we go away from the, the, 
tower as soon as possible and try to look for some rock formations. Away from the demon beacon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I asked Gareal if uh, he knows something about this. What's happening? Suppose I do. What yes. can you tell us? Well, depends. What's the price? Well, if you want to get the body, maybe it will uh, motivate us if you talk about it. Oh, that's a link. That fucking <laughs> nice that link, link, Prince Venek. That's that like fucking the oh, third time you yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking Google. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> It's if you if you copy a link before the the yeah. image is loaded, fucking Google. Okay, give me survival roll. Well, about what's happening. Okay. How should I put it? Whatever you plan to do, you should do fast. That's that's no way to put it, dude. <laughs> yeah, you find specifics. Reasonably fortified spot. Well. Specific. The demons are not going away. Oh, yeah. They just chewed up on two dragons. Yeah, we need to find a way to fight them. That's why we're taking this route. And, well, they're eating up sort of everything that they catch, so they look hungry. And well, that's new no dragon issue spawn you. most likely look delicious in their eyes. I guess. Yeah, fight demons the... probably have a vindictive attitude towards anything that's remotely draconic, so... And I oppose to turn dragon spawn. It's dragon kin. So it's who are you semantics meet sex. Semantics. I just think I am. And give me perception. Easy. You notice Thank how you. some of the fl things that are flying up are like flying above you, like moving with you. There's like two of them, but they are circling you up high. It. We have to get out of here. They caught. They, they caught up to us. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, where are we right now? Are we there? Yellow spot. Can right. I stealth with my horse? <laughs> That's the limit where you can get before it, the sundown comes up. Well, I guess we have to keep moving. Yeah, we're just still chased. Ride like the wind, kind of. So, how much for how many more hours do you want to push it during the day? Well, I guess until. Wait, have we been riding the whole day? Weren't no, we supposed to night. go during the night and sleep during the day? Yeah, yeah but we are chased by demons. So... Oh, okay. They I guess are still we would following have... us even the day? So, so, wait, how many hours have we been riding? Uh, you've what? been riding for like two hours, oh. and you haven't slept the whole night because you were doing the event, the thing in the oh, city. Oh, okay. Well, well, I guess... That was night action, so yeah. I guess we, we should keep going until around noon. Just yeah. avoid the, the midday heat. Does uh, Venek know about any refugee stuff here? Like some traveling campers or whatever? We are, we are probably the first ones to leave. Yeah, okay. you're the fastest. You have horses, you started immediately, so uh, either. Yeah, and whoever would be running from the tower would be behind you by now. Yeah, but like uh, some kind of settlement or something, we can uh, hide out during the day. Uh, from settlement the... here. Okay. Can we, can we get there in time to. No. Not in one day. Okay. Uh, how does this uh, work? Two squares or. Um, how many? These towns are like villages. From the bigger okay. things, there's the uh, the clack row at the uh, here, and then there are ruins of an old old castle here. That's from okay. the objects that you know. Otherwise, there's the thickest forest in the middle, and the rest of it is mostly savanna. And uh, the squares, two squares. How much is is that in hours? Or Like... I'll need to calculate it, but... Okay. I'll try to do something very, some very rough calculation. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, so one, two, eleven squares is half a day of travel. Suppose you can travel sixteen hours per day, so eight hours per day is eleven squares. So uh, eleven squares hour, one each day. Each hour gets you one and a half square, and you you cannot and for this you cannot you don't count the diagonal. It's like okay. next to each other always. Okay. Um, and now it was like two in the morning, something. No, it was six. It was four in the morning. Four in the morning. So two hours till six, and if you travel till noon, that's like six more hours. So it's so it's nine more nine more squares. Uh, yeah, I think. So up to somewhere here where the yellow dot is. Okay. I think we should just ride till noon, or yeah. when the um, things yeah, stop uh, flying behind us. We, I think our horses could outrun them, right? Or I think they have more stamina than the flying things. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the flying things, they will stop. They'll fly till like 9 in the morning, and then they'll disappear from the sky. Okay, nice. So when they disappear, we should uh, make a camp or something. It would be 9 in the morning, so it's... You're somewhere here where you are where your face is. Oh. What do you think, guys? Sounds like a plan. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you already get the survival, so we can find some decent decent spot. Now, any preparations for the rest? The horses are a bit tired, but yeah. Um, Does somebody want to scout out? Does anyone have survival? Like scout out for any predators or anything like that? Um, Not really. I could try. Can I do like a mix of perception and survival? If I notice, ooh, oh nice. Yeah. So mm. what can you I tell from this? Pretty area? good spot. There are no like very large animals living here. At at most, a gepard here and there. So you were way too big for that. I mean, with the size of your group and the size the, and the horses, you're large enough even for a lion to dare to attack. Could I find like a cave or something, or how a does cave, this? No, opt? but you find like a nice spot, relatively shielded, where you can make a sort of bit of a half fortified camp. Okay, like on the cliff or something, against the wall. For example. I'll I'll set up a tent there. Here as I can. And I will uh, eat one ration. Yeah. Then I will uh, try to just fall asleep <laughs> during the day. Bard, play me something. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm getting on those drums right now. <laughs> <laughs> like this jungle beat. <laughs> No, just he's I, I, away. I, I think I take the drums away from from Asha and they, we probably shouldn't pay, uh, attract any attention to it. He pulls out his flute, is about to play it, he looks at you and sadly nods. <laughs> I shoot a stern look in your direction. <laughs> I'm just yeah. pouting. I'll, I'll sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you take any watch? Yeah, definitely. I will take a watch too. Yeah, I will take the last one, or do I sleep the most? Well, we we probably will only take a few hours of, of rest, like four or five hours, something like that. Mm -hmm. Just to to regain some strength and also to to avoid the the, the heat. Okay. And as okay, soon as I'll... it starts to cool off, we'll keep going. How does yeah. uh, our horses look like? Yeah, did the we find like water for them? The weaker horses are a bit them? drained, the stronger horses are sort of fine. Damn right, like, horses. <laughs> well, even if we, if we, even if we we go slowly with the horses, it's better than going not going at all. Yeah. Okay. So... To put the horses in the shade as, as best as we can. 
Mm-hmm. Give them some water to drink. Shade is kind of hard to get, but yeah, yeah. try. So, six yeah, hours. I, I will try to, to, to put the horses as much as possible inside the shade, and I myself will sit or lie in the shade of the horse. Mm-hmm. That sounds reasonable. And yeah, me, Escort, and Luxford are gonna take watches. Yeah, but yeah. roughly two hours each, maybe yeah. a little less, one and a half hours. Let let's let's go six hours. Wake up at fifteen, then yeah. uh, go on. So I take the last two hours. So we each get two of us each get. Uh, four hours sleep and one gets two hours sleep. I think. Oh no, it's four hours each. But never mind. Mm, if you need, I can also have uh, some watch. If you need. Ah, no problem. No need. You're ble- pure okay, sleep. so you hold six hours and you hold watch. Yeah. Yes. Okay, everybody who holds watch, give me reception one after another. Like a few rolls. I guess Luxor is first. Uh, what was it? Perception. And the escort is going last, right? Yep. Nice. Hmm. Oh, you... fuck. <laughs> Luxford, uh, you have a feeling like something is not alright. You have a feeling like you're being watched, but you're not sure how or by what. Okay. Uh, if uh, nothing happens uh, on the watch, I will. Yeah, I will um, tell. Uh, I think I wake up uh, both uh, Jan and uh, who was uh, taking the second watch. So it's got, uh, just uh, g- us three. Yeah, so we got a double on the second and third shift. Okay, that's that's true. So we are two watching the first shift and two on the last shift. Yeah. But we don't really see anything happening, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't see anything special happening in the uh, around. You just have a bad feeling, like you know, being watched. Yeah. Okay, I do a divine sense again. Yeah, there uh... is something fiend around. Oh. Can you tell the location? I don't know. Please, please link me Divine Sense. Yeah, you're awake uh, oh, doing sorry. the uh, first shift. But nothing happened, really. You just had a bad feeling. I know the location. Okay, you know the location. It's there somewhere around your camp, like at a rock, which you are hiding behind. Okay. Is it far away? And no, it's very close. It's like 30 feet away from you. Look, suppose you are around some rock formation inside, and here, on one of the rocks, like on top of it, you send something. Okay, so right now Jennifer and uh, Luxford are awake during the first shift. No, I didn't wake anyone up. No, oh, uh, okay. Is it uh, on the first uh, watch or after we wake, woke up? Uh, yeah, at the first watch. Yeah, this is your watch. Okay, so I um, I keep my watch. I don't uh, go anywhere and I don't wake anyone. I keep my eyes open. Mm-hmm. If, uh, yeah. I mean, after after the duration ends, you don't know where it is anymore, or if it's there anymore. Alright, I make a new divine sense before waking them up. You sense like the thing has moved to another rock. Is it moving closer? No, like in, in a circle. Okay, I wake up the second watch guy, <laughs> and I tell me tell him about this and uh, yeah, for me. her. Yeah, uh, there's something. Uh, there's uh, some evil um, circling around us. 
I don't know how we should uh, we should act, but um, uh, keep in mind this is close, and I I will uh, agree with everything you think. If we should uh, uh, chase after it or stay here. Do you know what it is? No, I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe it didn't find us. Uh, it's uh, circling around us, so I think it uh, knows where we are. It's not right. getting any closer, but it just goes around. Hmm. So, uh, uh, if you want to stay close, uh, stay shut, uh, you can wake another one up. Uh, maybe Yen. And she can help you keep watch and make sure nothing happens. Your first uh, tour was how many hours? Two hours. Uh, two. Uh, how long I need again? I need like uh, half only, or how long? Still. Uh, you were half off, so full eight yeah. hours. I need full eight red. hours. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is it? I'll... Can she if we meditate? It. Yeah, I can come and help if you guys need. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, sure. I mean, you can try to wake me up. I will try. So, what's up? I guess you're coming to wake me up. Yeah, I'm going to explain to you what Luxford just explained to me. Then tell Luxford, yeah, you should get some rest. We I may have to own. leave early. I keep my weapons close. Okay, I'll come. But uh, how come you didn't try to check it up or actually wake us up? Uh, I stood by and uh, waited if uh, it got any closer, and uh, it just uh, is uh, surfing around us. And I didn't want to go by myself, and I think you need a rest. Okay. So uh, they didn't try to come closer, they all the time were kind of the same. This yeah, it's circling around us, keeping a watch on us, I think. So do you ma did you manage to find out what exactly it is? Oh no, sorry. I didn't want to leave the group. If something okay. would happen to you guys while you were asleep and I was away. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, go then rest. Yep, so I'll go to sleep. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, anything, doing anything? I will for sure be on my guard. Yeah, me too. No one's gonna, alright. No, no, fuck, I just deleted my token. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> and like just, uh, just in case, I will use the tech magic just in case. Like your, yeah, um, I would yeah, you, detect, take... you detect magic around. Okay, what uh, exactly do I detect? Or... There's some creature, apparently invisible, around the rocks. Like. Now it's on this one. One. Not for two, not three, mm -hmm. one. One. What do you think? Should we go and try to kick his ass or? Venek, I guess we were both that... of us. I'm sorry, what? Should we try to go and check it out? Uh, because I think we are both of us uh, keeping guard right now. Yeah? Well, if it's invisible, we shouldn't go alone. Mm. Not sure. I don't... Are you sure you want to leave this uh, whatever it is creature to spy on us all this time? Well, so far as it has just done anything, if it's just keeping track of us. But maybe it's attracting some other things. Yeah. Can you point <coughs> in the direction where, you f uh, where I found it? Yeah, of course, and I will show you where. Hmm. Well, what's your idea? You want to attack it? Well, he, it's magical for sure, because uh, I know where he is, because, and I'll actually try to be as silent, Not I will not talk too loud, so in case of that thing, it's actually following us as well, to not hear what we are talking. 
uh, I can uh, sense it because it's using magic. Alright. Do so, you know how to dispel that magic? Uh, I don't have any dispel, dispel magic or something like that, sadly. Well, any other way? Hmm... I can try to use command. Hmm. But now the question is, do we engage both of us, or...? Well, in a, if we engage the thing, we should warn at least Luxford, so he can put on his armor. Yeah, but he just went to sleep. So, and basically it's either if we try to risk it to get only the two of us, or not, because otherwise we would have to wake up everyone, not just Lux uh, Luxford. Sorry, I was just distracted by my roommate. Yeah, basically I said that uh, I see in this situation two valid options. First one is we go the two of us without uh, waking up anyone and uh, try to deal, not necessarily attack it, but try to use, uh, I will try to use command and uh, see what what's all about. Uh, and second option is we wake everyone up and try to see what's happening, but uh, if we wake everyone up, we have very uh, small chance of succeeding since that thing is most likely following us and we'll see that we are all coming out. Uh, well, so, we, yeah. in any case, we should give, uh, give them the heads up. Because if it attacks us and everyone else is asleep, it might be dangerous. But yeah, I guess it would be smart for you to sneak out. I will cast on myself, uh, uh, so you want to go to wake uh, them up? Yeah. Okay, I will cast on myself before you leave. Mm -hmm. You have it on yourself. How far is you it? Mean, you, mean, you mean where the creature is? Yeah, the creature. How it's like far is it? Six, seven meters from you. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to, to wake up Luxford first, even if he just had a short rest. I think <laughs> I should be short. able to use the uh, command. From, uh, from where I am, right? See, so, yeah, I think I should be able to use command from where I am. Mm -hmm. I don't know how how far is it range. I have uh, five feet. You're six of a meters away from it. I'd say it's too short, right? Let me see, I hate with these feats, I have no idea how to, to convert. Yeah. Well, command has range 60 feet, so that's 20 meters. 60? Oh, 60, yeah. Okay, never mind. I have, okay, I'll modify here because I see wrong details. So you want to cast command on it? Yes, I will cast a command on it. And what do you command it? I will command it to uh, reveal yourself and don't attack. Uh, you need to choose, typically there are the yeah, words, word. like there are the commands, one word commands. Like in the description, like approach, drop, flee. You see in the description? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's like one what, word. what we talked about, you it was different, but whatever. Um, reveal yourself. Or can does it work like that? Can I? Or... Well, the word Maybe. approach basically will do what you want. Okay, yeah. approach. Go to you and reveal itself. Well, I want to roll a wisdom save. Okay. No, that failed That's hardly. Good. And a small creature, small peculiar creature flies to you. It has wings, a scorpion tail, 
and an ugly looking face with horns. Otherwise, it's pretty small. It's like two feet tall, so not even a meter. It's half mostly a meter tall. Most disgusting. Oh. <laughs> and flies next to you. So. On, on the ground. And you can roll for initiative. <laughs> it's only one? Yep. For, for now. Uh. I want to do initiative again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, select a token and then click on initiative in your character sheet on the name initiative below the number. Sorry. I can't find it. Is it on the character sheet? <laughs> yeah, uh, level 20. Next to armor class, between armor class and speed, there's initiative. Below your name, uh, race, class, alignment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Escort, your turn. Wait, he, do he didn't do anything? No, play your characters, go first. Okay. You have more. Um. Oh. Okay. So I will just, uh,. Try to. Uh, do I have to stealth? Yeah. Or do I? Or do we have advantage because he's commanded? Well, he's not commanded anymore. He's normally standing there. Oh, okay. Well, I will. Yeah, but you still get sneak attack if he's next to uh, Yennefer. But he's next to Yennefer, yeah. So you get sneak oh, attack, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. don't have an advantage on attack. That's how it works, yeah. Okay, so uh, this one. Oh. Oh, 10 is a miss. Oh, yeah. So you attack it with a claw and miss yes. it. Oh. You can disengage and slink away as a bonus action. Oh, yeah. Disengage. How does disengage work now again? Is it oh, he doesn't feet? get attack of opportunity. Okay, but it's just like 5 feet away from next thing. No, no, you can move normally with your movement. It just normally costs an action, but since you're a rogue, you can do it as a bonus action. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's normal movement. Yep. Okay. Well, the creature flaps its wings and tries to fly up. You can have attack of, attack of opportunity, Yennefer. <laughs> uh, you can't cast spells for this. Mm, well, Quiet. Elvis Blast? No, it's only melee attacks. Okay, the roll d d twenty plus six, because I realize it's not in the correct sheet. Oh, you hit him with the staff, or? Yeah, well, exactly my point. That's... Okay, you hit it, and d four plus four damage. Suppose you would have a dagger or something like that. Crit, 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 crit! Come on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, d four plus eighteen or what? D4 plus 4. Okay. Decent. Okay, you hurt it, but it flew away. You scratch it, oh, it flies up, you manage to scratch it with a dagger, but it flies a bit <laughs> away. It's not like 30 feet away. <laughs> Apathic. Mm. Okay. A shear. I'm gonna cast sleep on him. Nice. Nice. It descends to the ground and falls uh, and is asleep. All right, let's let's run up and restrain it. Or does it take like, uh, falling damage or something? That would, oh, that, would wake it, that would wake it up. That would be kind of weird. no. Yeah. Don't do oh, that. Okay. Uh, I'll run over to it, but I use my action to do it, and it looks for tied up. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. It's got a Do it. damn scorpion tail. Hide the, the tail. tail. Okay, I tried to... Tie it uh, with the tail. I tried to tie up uh, all his limbs and the tail. Yeah, and the wings. Give me... And the wings. Sleight of hand. Oh god. Uh, Wait, can I retroactively burn it? Nah, never mind. Hey. Now we are still hey. playing uh, nice. with turns. It's tied up. Or not. Yeah, you don't you don't need initiative anymore. 
Ah, ok. É isso. So it's tied up on the ground. What a disgusting beast. Uh, I already failed an arcana check. Anyone else want an arcana check? Uh, does it look intelligible? Uh, intelligent? Or is it arcana? Well, I know it looks sleeping. Uh, no, adorable. no, he was talking about uh, trying to get some information about, or trying to remember something about this creature. Mm, impossible, that's pretty much impossible. Damn. You can roll for history or arcana, but... Mm, I mean, nothing short of natural 20 will get you anywhere. Alright, so do we kind of want to surround it, see if we can communicate with it? I can for sure try to communicate. I mean, I can communicate with the creature for sure if it knows at least one language. Do you think I can eat it? it? Hey, Jennifer, <laughs> have a bardic inspiration die. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. I still imagine Asha throwing around dice. Yeah, see. Once the creature wakes up, of course. Mm -hmm. You can shake it to wake up. No, I will actually uh, slap the creature. I will not shake it. It's it like shouts at you, tries to you know grab you with a, tries to move, whereas it can't. So it's like moving with the mouth, trying to bite. Hey, take it easy. So what are you doing uh, around here? Food. Food. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think you're looking in the correct uh, area for this. <laughs> What language uh, is speaking? Dragons so, tasty. Food. Uh, I will stand. Uh, I will stand in front of this creature, and uh, cross uh, my hands around my uh, chest, and will look down towards it and be like, "Are you sure you're the one that can say who's food and who's not here?" Food. You are food. Hey, let's let's eat this thing. Yes. Yeah, Eat it. Uh, guys, Eat please it. bring, please bring the fork and knife, you know. Or actually, just let's uh, put it on fire straight. Can I just cut off his tail or something? He doesn't oh need God. that. Does he? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So uh, you can try, but you are not sure if it will survive that. Uh, well, no, that... not yet. Not yet. He's a spy. He's information. Is is it really a concern for us whether or not this thing survives? Maybe. Uh, maybe a bit later we'll try to whatever, but for well, now I actually want to know. I so, guess we can trade a demon for something, you know? Where did uh, where did you come from? Where do you come from? Where did you go? He says some word in, in the infernal language, you don't know the name. And by your rough interpretation, he would resemble the word hell. Mm. Well, that's lovely. Is this the point where I say that I took Infernal from the Sage background, or would you prefer <laughs> I change that? But, uh, it's uh, telepathic. Yeah, oh, Jennifer's the... talking with it telepathically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So basically, staring, you guys staring silently, uh, no. playing the drums. <laughs> Sorry. <then. laughs> um, okay, so how did you guys uh, come here in our world, and why? We were called. We came to eat the dragon spawns. <laughs> and who called you here? Sorry again. Who called you here? Our master moved us here. Now we eat you. And who's your master? Mm hmm. He like stops and we you feel like he realizes he shouldn't say that who's your master i will repeat it louder <clears throat> i tell you nothing food also how come you didn't eat us during the night because we saw you circling our camp for hours i told you more than enough <clears throat> i'll wait to eat you later not okay. sure if you continue telling uh, us uh, how you will eat uh, so, you know later then i'm afraid that you might not see that later time so i'm still waiting for my answer who is your boss give me intimidation uh 
Uh, do I realize what she is doing? I should. If she, if she tells you, yes. Otherwise, no. Yeah, I will tell you. Yeah, if uh, in that case I will help, but it doesn't matter. I think now. Yeah, can we assist to get the advantage roll? Mm -hmm. If she calls yeah, me, actually, yes. Yeah, actually, I think I have uh, advantage since uh, I have got inspired. No, no, no. no. That's or... a dice bonus, that's not. Ah, no, man, okay. T6, so you can expand it any time. Yep. So I can use it now? Yep. yep. But Our Lord no. Zelazael. How? Oh, okay. <laughs> Write it down. Nope. Uh, nope. nope. What would be better to roll for this history or arcana or what? Doesn't matter, you cannot know. Okay. But maybe... Uh... Natural 20 on history might get you a bit, well, but more give uh, me insight. <laughs> like everybody give me insight. Thank you. He saw that for a tiny bit, as he heard the word Ryle, made like a really straight, really angry face. But then immediately eased up and started looking like nothing's happening. By the way, mm, Ryle, what's the problem with that name? I have no problem with it. Let's just say it rings a bell. Come on, we're friends here. Come on. I have the thing that we are not. Well, it depends, dragon spawn, if you want to be friends or not. Dragon kin. Are we? Wait, Ryle said that, right? Yep. Hmm. I still have the feeling that you're here to use us, and I don't exactly agree with that part. I'm sorry. Well, yes, I am here to use you. Mm, but unlike same. most others, I actually offer something in it, can offer something in return. Hey, Such well. as? Well, let's just say I know something about these things. Almost everything. Yeah, right. They can how, trade it for things. How does demon taste? Is it good? Mm, it's sort of poisonous. Uh, that, for us? This information I'll give for free. For right. us? It's poisonous? For anything other than a demon. It's only a cannibal. God damn it. Yes, actually. When well, lacking food, demons eat each other. So, well, Yen, what are you done with this? this thing? Now, I have one more question. Uh, tell me, creature, because I'm not sure how to call you. Um, do you know Rosie? Rosaria? Hmm, no. But it looks like it just doesn't react to the name at all. Okay, good. So why didn't uh, try to eat us? Why were you just spying on us? Since you said we are your food. You answered yourself. I was spying on you. Food. Oh. Ah, so you want to bring your friends later. They're mm. already on the way. <laughs> okay, what? and I'll... After, after he says that, I'll instantly do We'll try to kill him. You will succeed. You splash it on the ground. Well, we should leave. Yeah, we should leave. Now. We should change direction. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab its corpse and yeah, let's leave. The demons have a telepathic link. Yeah. Seems like it. Okay. Rel, can you confirm? Some might, some don't. Okay, this one, what do you think? I can ex Well, I can share some knowledge, but again, as I've said, I want something for it. Yeah, but building friendship, that's, that's what we're doing here, come on. Building friendship, they'll definitely know about its death. Okay. Well, let's continue on our journey. 
what's the maneuver? You are the yellow dot. And we rested for four hours, so you, you had a short rest. I would for whoever needs. We, short we rest. don't go the direct way, something like this. Or maybe like this, just to avoid the, the demons that are following us. Instead yeah. of going straight south. Sounds like, sounds like a good plan. Sure. So... I mean, it will take us longer, but we might be safe. So that was like a half night's sleep, was it? Yeah, like, we, we had a short mm -hmm. hours. Yeah, okay. So, I guess but I don't can... know how long we can keep this up. Uh, it's like... Well, depending... The horses will be definitely fine this day. If you want to keep repeating this for multiple days, it might be yeah. issues. Yeah. Uh, we have to rest our horses, yeah. Maybe we should just go for the village down there. Rest our horses and then keep traveling. Do we really want to bring the plight of the demons that are following us uh, into the village? True. No. Well, it will probably reach the village. Dependently of us. So, what's the plan? Do we know about, like, any sort of Settlements or something like besides the villages and stuff. Mm, not really. I mean, you know these th these villages because they're on the map that you've seen, like more local map. And otherwise, this land is not very fertile, let's say. Yeah. Okay. No I mines would, or anything if, like that. If we know where we are, I would say we we straight up ignore this village, try to reach this one as soon as possible. Oh yeah, that one. That's good. I mean, this one has water, but... Yeah, it's... Kind of out of the way for us. So I would suggest that we... Go to the west right now. Try to I reach agree. the other village. So, for how many hours do you travel? Well, it's now... It's like 16. Yeah. Well, we, we rest for four hours. Yeah, it's probably yeah. not it. So can, we, uh, can we find a cave while we're traveling? You can definitely find a cave if you, if you search for it. But it will take some time to search for it. Yeah, we okay. should just well, we, go we're as far as possible. We're moving now and we are probably trying to go through the night again. Yeah. So, 10 hours? Yeah. So, that's 15 hours. fields. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10 six, hours would be... Nine, 2 in the morning? Um, four, you can make it somewhere two, here, yeah, two, in this direction. Okay. Yeah, maybe we, we try to get some rest. Yeah. I guess the horse will be kind of exhausted at that point. Yeah, yep. the horses. Everybody give me animal handling. Yay. Don't kill the horse, please. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the nature of two, it's for real. <laughs> the yeah, nature one, actually. Here, sorry. And yeah. uh, Luxford's horse really is starting to have enough. No. I feel like if you would continue, it could, yeah, get hurt or worst case, die, drop dead. All right, we should slow down. I'm, I'm losing my mighty horse. Anyone with uh, good medicine or something? We could find maybe some herb or something. I don't know. Well, I am a jack of all trades, some might say. Oh. The problem with the horse is that it's completely exhausted. Yeah. We don't need to be a doctor to find that out. <laughs> it looks like the horse is completely exhausted. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe we could find some... Uh... 
I think the only cure for this one is rest. Yes. So we are somewhere around here after 10 hours of travel. So it should be like evening, soon it will be nightfall. <laughs> it's well, 2 in the morning, so... I think we should Actually, take it. Actually, it's 2 in the morning, so it's night already. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we need to take at least a short break. Yeah. Uh, and get yeah, we going. Kind of... Or a long rest or something. Yeah, but a long rest would leave us with the the, yeah, it's the true. noon sun. Yeah, short rest until the village at least. If we can make it. Yeah. But by, by the way, Luxford, do you have a war horse or a regular horse? It's a war horse. Okay. Uh in any case I guess we, we could trade horses since I'm probably lighter than you are. Will it help? Maybe. It probably will help. Light as fuck. Uh... Since I'm fairly skinny compared to you, and also I'm, I'm only wearing leather armor. Okay, I tell uh, Mighty Horse that. Uh, uh, someone else will ride you uh, for a while, but I will come back to you. <laughs> horse but... is making a sigh of relief. <laughs> the... Okay, the horse. The horse seems to be happy to get from under Luxford. Can, can, can anyone remember what Phoebus' horse was? This is exactly the same story. Oh, no. It's always the paladin. Tristan. Yeah, it was Tristan, right. It's always the fucking paladin who almost <laughs> kill or kill the horses. Yeah. You can imagine how it goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we can say that we can see in future. Yeah. I if, will, we, uh... if we find a giant hole, don't send your horse into it. Yeah, don't uh... try to test with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will uh, eat the rations and then uh, go to sleep ASAP. Yeah, also, um... as you ride on the horses, Ryle is running by you easily. Yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring him. Yep, I'm taking. Sure. I'm taking a watch again. All right. So, what's the watch order? Um, I think this time, uh, I will have the first uh, sleep, and after maybe I'll take yeah. the second one because I need my uh, spell slot. Back. Yeah, Escort, Escort, and Ashire didn't take a watch last time, so maybe, maybe one of you goes first. And luckily, I don't have any short rest resources, so let's do this. Yeah, me neither. But yeah, I do. So exhaustion. Good. Yeah, I but, can take a watch too. I got the uh, Divine Sense is a long rest, but uh, yeah, um, I got two left. Yeah, but in any case, Escort or Asha should go first. Asha is somewhere. going first. Very well. Asha is going first. So we we just need to break so we can start with, with Sunrise to move out. Well, all right, let's get this watch underway. Okay, give me uh, percep perception checks. Everyone, you... or... No, or how you hold the guard? watches in the I order? I guess it's Ashaya and Escort today. Wait a second, so we need four uh, four guards, yeah? No, we, we just need two, two, two hour guards. Ah, okay. Watches. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so me, the second one. Yeah, like this at least we can get the uh, short rest. Yeah. Do we or not get uh, at least uh, the first uh, rest? Yeah, you get a short rest, definitely. Well, it looks like everything passes quietly. Do I pick up anything during the time with that perception check? Uh, second. Yeah, you got a feeling. You notice things flying up, 
like up in the up on the sky there are some flying things when you say some how many is that oh uh, you notice one or two but they're not circling around you they're like you know it flies over and then glides somewhere in the hor over the horizon huh who's is it Awesome. Second crit for the GM today. I love it. Yeah, I think we are screwed just a bit. This is the path we'll take, by the way. Otherwise, in the first notch, and at the first watch, nothing really happens. Okay, but on the second one. On the second one. Whose escort is, you see something like that flew past, suddenly turns around a bit and seems to be making like a half semicircle around. Okay, and then away from us. You don't know. Wait, so a half circle? A circle? It flew over us and then made a half circle? Yeah, it like back. flew over us and then it's like turns a bit back. Okay, so I. Suspect he is, uh, yeah. Can I roll stealth or something, or did he see the mm -hmm. camp? Or... You can roll stealth. Who doesn't see me? Um, how, how close is he? Give me perception. And... So, Yennefer number two is Venek. Suddenly you see Escort, you notice too late, but the thing's flying past over your camp. And from its tail, it whips the tail and shoots a couple of spikes. Into pr at Prince Venek. Of course. Uh, First one hit. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Give me con save. Con save. I'm probably. Against 11. Thunder, something like that. Or 12. Fuck this <laughs> shit. Um, do I run away? Four more damage. No, 15 damage. And it like glides past you and is, again it's making a semicircle this time. It's making like 30 feet wide semicircle. And that wakes you up. So right now, oh, Escort God. and Vanek are awake. What the? What? Fuck. Uh. What was that? Even happening? You're pretty severely injured, aren't you? So I will, I will, I will just rush by his side and check his wounds. I will, uh... And give me initiative. I will give him a potion of healing. It's okay, I have, uh... I have, uh... Second wind. Yeah, but I will give it nonetheless. Yeah. Because Prince... Fuck. Do we roll two? Or are we still asleep? Uh... Yes, he's still asleep. Ashir can roll, and Yennefer is still asleep. So I will roll Yennefer after. looks for Tyx, I sleep. Can I, can I go and wake him up? Uh, do Again? I roll after or how should I do? If I'm asleep, should I roll or not for initiative? I think, I like think so you roll can roll, thing? but you will not use it right now. Okay. Yeah. You use it when you're awake. Okay. So, Escut. How, how far away is it? Like 30 feet, it's making a semicircle by you. Okay, and it's up in the air. Um, okay, we, need to, we need to get it down. Yeah. Um, I will... I guess the camp isn't that big, so I can make a move. It's small, you should be close to each other. Yeah, so you're not so I've... visible. So... I will just move over to Jennifer and wake her up. 
does that take my action or? Yep. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If action I what's his bonus then. action? What's bad is that we have no way to actually know what what are the distances here in a fight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I see from him to me eighty kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, I will wake her up with my bonus action, I guess. Uh, I will try to throw a dagger. And I don't know, sneak attack, is that 1d6 mm. plus? You will have disadvantage because I think it's too far. I mean, what's the throw range of the dagger? It is uh, 20 to 60 feet. Yeah, he's too far. He's like 30 feet away. But you can count him as being 30 feet away. And I can't make a movement towards him. Yeah, Cause... then you can throw that yeah. here. Yeah. But you will not have any advantage, so it will be normal attack. Uh, but a stealth one, yeah. Because I'm... I did a... Okay, yeah, yeah, you are stealthy, so yeah. Yeah. Then you have um... the advantage. Okay, so I guess it's... It's a... Plus D6, right? On stealth attacks? I think so. You should know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm new. <laughs> yeah, it's D6 at level 2. Um, I don't know how to put it in the... Like... That. That's a miss. Oh. Oops, my bad. Okay, next one. Okay, Ash here. So it's just the one that we see? Mm hmm. Uh, and where did he approach from? The west, the south, the north? Uh, he originally came from here. Yeah, you're awake. Then like we'll flew up. over you, then made a semicircle past, and like guided over you, and I was somewhere here. Gotcha. I will particularly inspire Yennefer as our ranged designated specialist as a bonus action, drum solo. And as an action, I will cast Vicious Mockery. Come at me. Wah, wah. What's the say? Wisdom. Demons have excellent wisdom save. I so bet. Eat that damage. Okay, any movement or anything? Um, if there's what we could call a high ground that would give me like a uh, perceptive bonus, I will try and head to that. Yeah, you can climb on some rock to have a bit of a high ground. I will. Well, he's flying. You know what? I'll attempt to do that. Okay. And if he's the only thing around and, and he is flying, I'm going to drop prone too. And that's me. As it's you go to high ground, it's making this glide back, flying towards you. Then, and try to, tries to grab you by the claws. Ah shit! Uh, is it close to me? He kind of sucks mm. at that. No, it doesn't pro provoke attacks of opportunity. But uh, when flying, react. yeah, it misses, misses uh, Ashir by a bit. So at least it tries to shoot a spike on you when flying by. Yay! Because uh, I got the protection as a uh, fighting style, so I can uh, give a disadvantage on uh, attack rolls. On one. It already had disadvantage on its yeah, next yeah. attack roll. It has yeah. disadvantage. Last one. So, that one is that. Do we see that demon? Oh. Yep. Oh. 
since they no. were invisible, they have attack. They have advantage on the first attack. So, from left to right, Venek, Waxford, Yennefer. Now, of course, that one hits me. <laughs> the nature You're too what? important to lose. And give me Constitution save. Oh my God! What a shit roll. Wait, you did take a lot of damage before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah on thirteen did. HP. Yeah, I can't tell from your character. Uh, oh, by the way, Venek, uh, please try to uh, switch to put your HP bar there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I. I oh yeah, I didn't. Well, I did change it in the character sheet, but it doesn't change on the Yeah, token. you should click there. Yeah, I'm down. And uh, it's 17 damage yeah. in this turn. Yeah, I'm at minus four HP. Holy shit! Oh god. Protect yeah, well, the Preds! <laughs> that happens if... If you get focused by every enemy. Oh, they attacked everyone, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, so now the creature is next to me, right? And... Straight next to you. It basically tried to... It like appeared from invisibility and tried to stab you with a, from behind with a tail. But it wasn't very dexterous at the attempt. I think I'm too agile. Uh, so, by the way, if I try to move away, uh, I will create an opportunity to attack. Yep. And I'm pretty sure I can't use Elvish Blast uh, from close. Yeah, you can. Oh, but I you can? have disadvantage. Okay. Do I? Do I have disadvantage? Yeah, it's a ranged attack. Uh, it's a spell. Spells don't have disadvantage. Yeah, exactly what yeah. I thought. Yeah, the range works differently. Okay. I mean, range attack is pretty much bow crossbow. Mm. And daggers and stuff. Do I have the feeling like fire would uh, affect them more? Well, I'm not sure if Maybe. more, but probably not less as well. I mean, they don't see many fire. Okay, then I will try to use this. Come on, imps, you can do it. So, let's see. Oh, one failed. One of them catches a blaze and burns. Actually, actually wait a second. 15, it's a save or not? Should be safe. Be 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 you scorch the one next to your bed and fry the one next to Luxford. Okay. Nice. And I think I will try... Can I still move a bit or not? Yeah, but you will get the attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, I know. Actually... Nah, fuck it. I'll sit here. <laughs> Hopefully, guys, you'll try to get it away from me. Okay, is it my turn or Benix? Death roll? Yeah, I'm dead. So. It's yeah, not the death saving so throw. Yeah. Benek, death save. Of course. Is it? Isn't it a death save Sweet. if he yeah. gets attacked? Doing... No, death save every turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get that. Uh, that's a success. That's a success, yeah. Good. It's yeah, an automatic I... fail if I get attacked. Yeah, but I rush uh, uh, for Benix and. Uh... I can do uh, cure wounds. Mm -hmm. So, how much does the heal? Bam. Nice. And the prince yeah. is back on his feet. Yeah. So, yeah. and I, I will use my react uh, reaction to uh, give it disadvantage if he attacks with Annex again. Yeah, you can do it when he attacks. Uh, Escort. I will. Uh... Like this one. The, since he's next to the other guy. I mm -hmm. get Give me damage. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. That's really bad. He survives. <laughs> Two ones. <laughs> God. Yeah, and I will uh, place myself there if he tries to escape. By the way, do we know about the claw thing? Yeah. Oh, you've seen him use it, so yeah. Yeah. It's 
not really that hidden. Yeah, but are, I... are we are we surprised by it that you? No, we're not. We saw it during the university. Okay. We yeah, were impressed yeah. then, but now it's just yeah, yeah. cliche. <laughs> A sheer. So that imp and the flying dude, how far away from each other are they? Forty feet. Uh, yeah. The flying dude is like thirty feet, exactly thirty feet, and the imp is close to you. Both of them are close to you, like under ten feet or ten fifteen feet. So, is there a spot I could pick that's twenty feet away from both of them? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna target that spot and cast sleep again because I love that spell. So, give me the amount of HP. Oh, nice. Hmm. Really good roll. A really good roll. <laughs> they fall asleep. You see both aims glide down and fall asleep. Yay! They have right. a good roll. Here comes the dangerous one. <laughs> Yennefer looks delicious. It flies by Yennefer, tries to grab you by its claws. The one. Misses, <laughs> flies by, and tries to hit you by the spikes from the tail. Ow. And give me constitution save against 12. <laughs> God. God. Oh, so I have and extra 4 damage, 11 in total. I was trying to hit that guy and an imp, but not, not so much. Ah, uh, never mind. It's too late now. Stuff has happened. Oh, you meant these two. Uh, what? Uh, this would have been in range. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool then. And sorry, so, uh, I understood wrong. Uh, well, we are asleep. So, Yennefer's turn. Okay, so Blasted. those two are asleep. Can I uh, target with anything the big motherfucker? Yes. With a blast, yeah. Okay. I will go for it. And I think that should be totally a hit. Give me damage. Fuck. Only <laughs> shit damage. Boom, you hit it a bit, but it stays afloat. Okay, Seven and I, wait, I want to move also. Okay, I can move. And then. So, Prince Vanek. Oh, do that. Fuck. Fucking hell. Get so an attack. Uh, so, uh, Yen just hit the, the, the flying thing that's awake, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, the the other two are asleep, and one is dead, so the third one is dead, so I think we want to kill a big one. Yeah, I just shake my head and use uh, second wind first. Two. Fuck me. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab my longbow and I'm gonna attack the same thing. Come at me. Ah, oh, fuck this shit! <laughs> oh oh my fucking God. gracefully that uses the arrow as it yeah. flies. And on. I'm gonna oh, use then action the search. Goes to no, I'm gonna use a uh, action search and I'm gonna attack the fucking thing again. Go oh, die. Now you're dead. <laughs> there we go. Fucking hell. <laughs> hate this thing. Still floating. <laughs> Locksford. Alright, uh, all right. I take my mace and I will execute the imp beside me. Come at me. It should be really easy. Oh! Turn! As dead as it gets. Yeah, and I move uh, beside the Vanek, Ashir, and the Jan. To give my reaction. Okay, that's good. Um, I will try one of those uh, throwing daggers. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, it Miss. Misses. Okay. And with my movement, I will position myself beside this uh, sleeping demon. Mm hmm. Ashir. I'm gonna vicious mockery the flying guy. Uh, 
hashtag and poop. Yeah, I'm very creative. <laughs> you mocked it successfully. And it... Eat the damage. Feel bad about yourself. That's a soft spot. I feel bad about itself, so it's trying to fly away. Oh. <laughs> Coward! Now, okay. now it's 90 feet away. Feel bad for him. You can still hit it, yeah. One shot, one opportunity. Okay, Dude. I will try. <laughs> nah, that's not a miss. You have Elder. That's a miss. You have the wait. You have Bardic Inspiration. Uh, yeah, all right. Use it. But does it matter actually? Well, yeah. We go. Can you use it on attacks on level two? Yeah, on attack rolls, just not damage. Give me damage. Okay. Yeah, damage is. For the, is for it the enough to blast, kill? right? <laughs> and you see the blast hits uh, its back of the head and it and falls to the ground. Woohoo! She remembered the sweet and I as you. Thank you for this inspiring me, you know. Ta da! You're such an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> There's still so a sleeping imp right there. There's still there, a sleeping though. imp, yeah. Hmm, do we want to find out anything else, or...? No, fuck these things. Gonna okay. take my crossbow, yeah. walk over to it, and shoot No, 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 I'm sorry, yes, this, yes. this is it. my specialty. Kill it. I'll blast hey, it to it's, there. It's my turn. <laughs> yeah, you can do it too. No, 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 I'm sorry, this is just, you know, <laughs> my passion to kill no, these no, 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 no. ugly guys. <laughs> I'm the killer one. Give it to me. Oh. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Did a miss? Come on. Is that? I'm pretty sure 13 is a miss. Oh, it's a hit, dear. but yeah. You can. All of you can enjoy the dead aim. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you find I'll smash it. I'll smash it to the ground and make sure there's nothing left. So, we got two hours of sleep. Did we? We got a short rest, yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Gather the horses. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't feel good ab about that. Uh, I'm kind of spell yeah. slotless. Is no, there I anywhere? Yeah. To rest, you know. uh, can I do like a history check to see if there's anywhere like refuge or anything ruins that we could take a better rest in? Because this short rest not is close. It's a few hours away. Let's, Let's look for a cave. Yeah, we need to find something somewhere safe. Yeah. Um, Is it uh, survival? I see in distance some floating, some flying things, as good. Uh, more flying guys, sort of heading in our direction. Uh, come on. Are there so any like, have, um, have... are there any like ruins nearby that would provide cover or anything like that? Because I don't think that we haven't seen any caves. I think we should just fucking leave the horses and run. <laughs> That would like double our travel time. Yeah, but maybe it will slow them. Maybe they will eat the horses or something. I don't know. Don't uh, count on it. it well, well says. Suppose I would know a place to hide. Alas, it's old ruins. A few hours away. Four hours away. Four or five hours away. Let's go there. Is it anything there? Yeah, but there's a green marker. Go, go, go. That sounds better than running through, trying to outrun these things for yeah. four days. I would like to make sure he's not trying to lead us in some trap. I don't care. <laughs> you have a feeling he's not lying. Okay, then I will just uh, keep silent and move on. And also, trap is better than this. Okay, give me everyone animal handling. Live. Oh, so, who, yeah. who has the tired horse? Uh, I do have I it. have the tired horse. Wait! You switched. <laughs> I have the tired horse. Okay, the horse is... He makes it there, alive, but it really starts to have enough. <laughs> okay. Collect. Yes, by the description, you make it to a small oasis. It's like a bunch of trees, normal trees. And at the trees, at the bottom of the mountain, after a bit of Looking around, you find that there's some entrance somewhere into a cave or something like that. What makes you think this is safe? I have no idea. 
Uh, by the way, my horse hits okay? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so. Is this place familiar? Have we heard about it or read about it? Or is it just new? Absolutely nothing. Was it some sort of ruins, you said? Yeah, it's like a ruin. It's like there's an entrance, which apparently was a hallway into the mountain. The first look, but now it's mostly collapsed, but you can still, it looks like you can go through that. Okay. Otherwise, we'll... as you were fleeing, you saw some flying things, but mostly in the distance, not directly around you. Nice. I'll walk in. Okay, okay. Who, are, who are wounded? Is it Jan and Venek? Yes, I'm wounded, and I'm also missing. Use some uh, hit dice. Can, uh, is there... Damn it, I don't have to take... Uh, can, can you do an arcana check to, like, sense for anything? Is that... Do anything in this edition like that? And I will do the tech magic. You can search if there is anything, like, wrong about the place. If you get any feeling from it. Mm, mm, I think I bad. might. I think I might try. Can I also try to detect the same thing? Yeah. Mm, I think that's better. Mm, nothing special. And it doesn't uh, give magic? any feeling. It. No, also nothing. Uh, I will make a uh, divine sense. Mm, nothing around. Okay. Nice. I will. Uh, Safe. I will make uh, lay on hands on uh, Vanek. So we get uh, all my reserve, so well, we get if, 10. If we take a short rest, I can use uh, hit, dice. hit dice as well, yeah. And I have Song of Rest, because I'm restful and songy. Uh, is there, uh, can we hide in the ruins and or hide the horses in the ruins, or are they outside? You can hide your... actually you can go ex explore the ruins and see how large they are. Uh, okay, I'm investigating. Okay, you make it through the ruins. There's like a what looks like a could have been an older shrine or some type of temple, perhaps. There is some symbolics around the walls. There's this rose and what seems to be like an altar. Although the the entrance was probably much larger ages ago, but how it's mostly collapsed, you can squeeze through. You can get through the horses with a bit of an, with a bit of scale. Inside there is still some running. What looks like there's water inside the temple. Looks like oh, there's yes. some underground river going through there. And yeah. So Do we recognize we... any of the ruins? Do they look like they have like they've word? Um, I'm gonna cast comprehend languages as a ritual. Mm -hmm. And then when that's done, see if anything, any of the ruins actually say anything. That's got just falls asleep in a corner. That's okay, so off. from from the ruins, what you get, this used to be a temple of some god of light. You don't see the name anywhere. All right, interesting. And, uh, there's like symbols of the sun, like drawn symbols of sun all over. Otherwise, the te and the texts are like worshiper texts, ritual texts. This looks like a temple, and wouldn't Rosario worship the sun god? Some type of sun god, yeah. There are several uh, sun Actually, gods. yeah, give me insight. Okay, do you have a feeling like the sun symbols are sort of similar to the ones Rosaria had? Ah, uh, mm -hmm. great. That's odd. Or not. Or yes. Yeah. She could just uh, be a spy and use this as a uh, cover, because uh, it's uh, runes, right? That is so, a good point. So there's no more, maybe. What, uh, what do we know about this uh, sun? Do we know if it's uh, still active? It seems to be abandoned for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Oh. I mean, since it's uh, relatively well closed off from the outside and uh, it's not too demolished, let's say. But, yeah, it's ancient. I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing, nothing but stone but... here. No you metal, nothing carved with metal or the wood has longer decomposed, if there was any. You said there's an altar. Is there anything yeah, yeah. like on it? Yeah, there is a 
like on it nothing no but under it there is some carved statuette of like an angel holding his with crossed hands in front of himself uh, cr- pretty nicely carved into the wood somehow it survived the, the teeth of time and, and there is like an old uh, not books like a stack of stacks of tablets with something written on them I'm going to take the statue and then start to investigate the tablets. Give me religion. Nice one. Okay, it's uh, some sort of rituals. Apparently it's like worshipper rituals. Interesting. Does that give me any kind of knowledge or anything? Or is it just interesting? It's interesting, and what Ral told you. Gotcha. What time is it now? Good question. You wrote for six hours, so it's eight in the morning. All right, I will uh, do cure wounds. Eight, nine on... in the morning. Mm-hmm. I'll make cure wounds on Jan, and uh, then I will go to sleep. Now I would like to rest. All right, uh, I'll take a watch, but um, like the fourth watch, how long are our watches? One or two hours? I can also take uh, after around either two or four hours, something like that. Yeah, I'm not taking a watch. I'm fucked up. No, you're good. I We can take two hours of watch and still get a long rest, and I need that for spell slots and bardic inspiration. But I'll take, uh, I guess... I don't know. I'll be awake for like noon. Yeah, I'll take the noon watch. Can I have a toilet break, please? Take a fire in. Mm-hmm. Fire, fire is whiskey because it will make smoke that will come somewhere. But, but it's relatively hot, so you don't really need a fire to warm up. So, uh, do I do we get at least the first round of sleep or not to know? Mm-hmm. If yeah, I this put will be all the HP? this will be a full rest. Okay. Yeah, so slots back and stuff. So lovely. Alrighty. So on my watch. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it got so quiet. Yeah. I'm not sure what the DM is doing. Yeah, wildly <laughs> typing. Oh. oh, okay. Can we take a small break? Definitely, we can take. Ah, right. A five minute break for the pee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the pee pee.
All right, I'm back. I'm good as well. We should have uh, like uh, tried to take the imps, uh, the imps' tails. Could we I have one of the corpses if you all are brave enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think they can uh, contain poison. Did you learn that firsthand? I forgot about it. <laughs> I. Yeah, I was thinking about it first, then I took the corpse, so I didn't care. <laughs> True. And then the other three I forgot about completely. I'm back. Anyone missing? Uh, Jan is missing. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Everyone's here. So? I'll type something real quick and. You okay. Long resting, inspiration back. Boom. So, how's everyone's Thursday? It's great. Great, great, great. However, I have the feeling that the DM will try to screw us hard and make it less great. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> he would never do that. Well, oh, it, it all, of course It not. almost seems like you played this game before. Yeah, <laughs> and especially with this DM. Who would yeah. have thought? <laughs> The first session was crazy. <laughs> Well, be sure that this DM will totally try to screw us as much as possible. So, when he throws an NPC in our group, you should be very, very careful. It's very useful information, but Ashir is a very trusting man. Mm-hmm. A bit, uh, a bit naive. How about, <laughs> how about the way we started that um, we were trusting someone that was working for our side for a, a couple of years or three, how many was it? Something like that. And the first thing she did was to betray us. I yeah. mean, this is what I'm talking about, you know, this type of things he enjoys to do, so be careful. Yeah, he seems uh, pretty dark, not uh, like our alignment guy. <laughs> He will do a lot of dark things, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, are you writing okay. a book? Or what? Almost. Yeah, yeah I'm I finished see. writing. By the way, I see some text there, but uh, I'm not sure what's happening because I can't see Yeah, from I was who. trying to, to copy paste into some something into PM and it failed spectacularly. Uh huh, okay. Yeah, so the A part was in uh, in private and the B, C, D not. <laughs> I get it. Exactly. Should we read or pretend we... It doesn't haven't... matter, it's like copy-pasted from the campaign webpage. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, uh, from the hell dog, did, did we get uh, from on our Pokedex that it can roar and frighten people? 
or is it like uh, you would need to you would need to know like details of it i mean you can remember this but for the <laughs> let's say pocket x uh the hell uh, seven for the pocket x you need like the specific knowledge where you would get the parameters like range dc exact effect duration everything okay Basically, well, that's for information you know, like hundred percent in detail and for sure, aka the dark lore. All right. And uh, I'll go back to sleep. And end my who watch. Is, who has guard? Uh, who has watch after a year? I don't. If I keep watching, do I get the long rest? If we try to stay. Yeah, there? everybody gets a long rest. Yeah, I can keep a watch. Okay, whoever's after a shield, give me inside check. Yes, I can. Uh, I... Suddenly wants to, everyone wants to watch. Oh, sorry. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> you are first. In case you guys are wondering what uh, were they talking about, the Pokedex uh, is just the way we call it. This is basically what's all about so we've encountered in the first uh, in the first campaign these two demons uh, and this is the knowledge we have so far as in kind of nothing the only okay thing we uh, for the rest of the so far it's uh, the rest, name of nothing this happens big thing. you wake up in the okay i'll stop talking late afternoon yeah okay just try to brief you guys uh, fast about what's, yeah, late uh, afternoon happened. in the evening yeah, in the evening, six o'clock. There'll be light for like three more hours, then it will start getting dark. Okay, how is uh, Mighty Horse looking? The Mighty Horse yeah. is looking good. Now he got some nice rest in the shadow, I had some water, a bit the, the cave, there was also some vegeta vegetation growing, so the horses were biting that. The horses now are looking very good. Nice. So, uh... Oh. Does the night pass, or the day? Does the rest pass uneventfully? Yeah, the rest pass is uneventfully. Now it's like the end, almost the end of the day. And yeah. You are inside a cave. You had a nice rest. Everybody's feeling good, including the horses. Alrighty, so we have one last route around in here for... Um... Hmm. And you can restock on water here. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Yeah, hey. I will for sure take sure. also some water. Uh, I would hey, like to investigate so... the water. There's something wrong with it. The Prince Vanek, is there... Mm, I, feel like, I feel like I should talk to you. Okay. About, about what? what? Or to the party, I should say. I don't know what it is about this place, or... I don't know. But um, I had some pretty disturbing visions in my dreams. Visions? Have you been Have you drinking? drinking? Almost constantly, but that's besides the point. <laughs> uh, I had dreams of these demons. Um, these, not the same ones, but of same constitution and construct. Hell, maybe even the same ones. Uh, but... But, um, this isn't the first time these things have invaded. What I'm trying to get at. I've seen ages, different ages and different eras in which these things have overtaken our world. And if history's any indicator, I think they're here to do it again. So the fairy tales are true? Yeah, I, th I don't think there's any doubt of their motive. They're here just as... Hungry, destructive beings. We need to do something about this immediately. Yeah. All I know about that sort of stuff is that dragons are good, demons are bad. We need some dragons on our side. 
So you want to say that they want to destroy the world or what? Undoubtedly. And it seems they've succeeded at it before, even with dragons. So we should make haste. Oh. You're talking on other worlds or on this one? I feel like it was this one. And how is this possible? Uh, I can't tell with the visions. It could have been other worlds. It could have been this one. But regardless, they're a scourge. And if we're next, we need to we need to make haste. Real, do you know anything about this? Yes. Benek, so what do you know? Because I have the feeling that you're hiding some important information here. Me? Well, if your name is Venek, then yeah, you. Hmm. Well, do I? It seems like no, you do. I'm asking Seal. Yeah, does he? <laughs> do I? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah. DM! Yes, I answered already. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I I have no, what you are, uh, no idea what you're on about. I have no <laughs> idea what these demons are. But then tell well, me. We won't trouble you further. Your I majesty. mean, your and I will majesty. Kind of drag her back. <laughs> your majesty, and I will kind of push you back away from me. No, no, no. Show some respect. Come no, on. no, no. I will totally push you away from me. Your majesty, I'm sorry, but also your friend here, and I will very sharp uh, show with my eyes towards uh, uh, Ryl. Also seems to kind of be, let's say, attracted by you. So Whoa. there's something that I really don't like about well, what's for... happening. And when it's one thing and after there's another, so maybe I would appreciate a few answers. But for Come one on, thing, yeah. of course, who wouldn't love me? And the second thing is, he's not my friend. Okay. If anything, he, he's Ashire's friend. Oh, what, what are you are doing? doing? He seems to be. Okay, <laughs> sorry, it seems like. A bit, uh, I don't know, sorry. Uh, from the start, I understood that uh, Xia was saying that uh, Rylet's around uh, Venic, yeah. not uh, Ashri. But I was the first to encounter him. Yeah, and, I, and at that point, uh, Xiel said something about the fact that you guys seem to know each other or some like, better. Or yeah, I, know. I, I was the first one that met him and we talked, but that's something only Venek knows. I don't know shit about what we talked about yet. Mm, okay, then the... <laughs> I was that, kind of confused. That, that, that's a conversation that has happened, but will happen in the future. <laughs> Okay, then I think we are done for now. Uh, actually, let's pretend this didn't happen since there was that this confusion. I yeah, thought sure. that, yeah, okay, let's pretend this, this didn't This all happen. happened in Yennefer's head. This is plain. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that's the, topping of the, uh, the topic of this session. I'm fucking rose up, Yen is getting insane, and Luxford <laughs> is torturing horses. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't remember correctly, uh, incorrectly, Bannock uh, fucked up my horse too. Bannock? So you are the evil one here! <laughs> but but Bannock is a good guy. He's the prince after all. And no. No, one, no one in power or royalty has ever been not a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, uh, we should get a move on. Yes, there are please. We, things let's flying let's in this guy. guy. We need to find these answers as soon as possible. Yeah, let's go. Get going. Get, okay. Let's get out of this desert. So which yeah. direction? What? West. This one. Get back on the road. Yeah. Are you starting a kill count? Something like this. Mostly for my own action. Gonna cover this whole screen. I'm really curious how many things will die or people before you get there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the horses are feeling good. You sneak out from the from the cave and get a good start. Nice. One, two, and three. Uh, like four hours in. Uh, you notice one of the flying guys 
pass is like closer to you like 200 feet away up in the air and makes like a semicircle and screeches a bit oh fuck can we outrun it he noticed us i don't yeah well we might be able to outrun it keep running but our horses are, well they're in better shape right now yeah they are yeah i would run, just run i wouldn't want to fight again again okay i try to run beside everyone and uh give them uh give them also disadvantage if it attacks if i can when we are in a horse yeah and also maybe can you ready an attack or something uh venic and uh, the range guys I will ready a precious mockery. I will hold the uh, attack. If that's possible in horse. Just an idea, I will... Uh, Mike! Ciel. Yeah. Ciel, I understand you want to fuck around with the thing, but Mike. Uh, can I st uh, try to be around the... Uh, like in the middle between uh, the people? The people. I believe I took that spot. I would... <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, come on! Uh, I want to yeah, give a disadvantage to everyone. Yeah. Uh, if uh, the thing. Okay, uh, basically, I would not want to sit uh, at the side. Jennifer, I, shoot I... it in the face real good, like super good, bardic inspiration. Boom! Yeah, but if we do that, so... uh, we will initiate combat, and I would yeah, not want but to do that. Currently, we're just running, and if it attacks, we uh, are ready. Yeah. Yeah. I will hold the next one. If it gets close, I will totally, uh, like, uh, too close to us, I will totally throw an Ervage Blast. Yep. The house oh, is nice. going down. Mr. DM. Oh, so you arrange yourself into a formation, and if you're ready with the Eldritch Blast, eventually it will come close enough. Just okay. close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, if, yeah, so it was faster than our horses, yeah? Yeah, it flies much faster. If oh, okay. Yen shoots an arrow, uh, her Eldritch Blast, I'm gonna shoot an arrow as well. Mm-hmm. Give me damage. Ah, fuck this Whoops, shit. no. Is it That's a miss. Uh, 60 feet escape. away? No, it's like 90 feet. No, 110 feet. Okay. And as it screeches, you can roll for... Uh, do we keep uh... D20 plus 4, both of you, or actually Venom plus 5, basically initiative roll, no oh, plus 4 good. Plus 4 or plus 5? Can we keep fighting on the horses while we're riding? Ah, fuck yeah. shit. So, Venom has a chance to shoot it again. The I rest will, doesn't uh... have a range because it will fly away from you. So whoever... Ah, fuck this shit. A 2, a 3 and a 4. And it glides okay. from the from the range, screeches, and now it's keeping more distance. Okay, We're just gonna I... keep keep going. I'm I'm gonna shoot another arrow with disadvantage. Okay, come at me. Uh, That's a hit, actually. Nice. Nice. Okay, you can shoot at least four or five arrows because before it gets far enough. Okay. <laughs> nice hit. Shot. Actually, Me? can I still uh, shoot or not? No, you're not in range, but his range is like 600 feet uh, with the disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can, can I shoot, shoot it one? down with a second arrow? Nice. Nice. <laughs> but I'm running low on arrow. Good shot! Nice one! Keep go. We should... We should keep moving. Yeah, we're currently just running on... The Shriek horses. might have attracted more of them. They know uh, when they die, how, they'll how be attracted many... to his corpse about yeah, 400 feet away. How many arrows yeah. are that? One, four, five, six, seven, and two before, then I'm on 11 arrows. I need to buy arrows. Uh, hmm, you're in the perfect spot to shop for things. Yeah. <laughs> Just middle of nowhere, you know, it's fine. Got one down okay. left. Okay, you make, you make it... Like, Wait a second, let's... Uh, we we should keep track of how much damage we did to to destroy them. That was seventeen damage, so they have less than seventeen HP. Hmm. So maximum seventeen. Yeah. 
also the. By the uh, way, um, I would I want to ask if armor. the DM can try to make us uh, our own, let's say, uh, Pokédex where we would add our own information, or we really have to I do could. our own because we don't have the images. So you know, at least, uh, so we what? can try. For example, how we ha know about this guy that he has yeah. uh, maximum seventeen HP and stuff yeah, like we, this. You know, we could just set up a Google Doc. Okay, I made a made a here note in game. Yeah, but the thing is that we have no idea what name they have, so we need to use image. Well, we can just call them flying yeah. demon, small flying demon. Flying spiky guy. Yeah, flying spiky guy. Because we should really know the, all this information, because I don't want to go for the crazy thing that the, the DM wants us to do. For his free information. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much AC would he have? 16 was a hit? Uh, yeah, 16 was totally a hit. 12 wasn't. Yeah. So not more than 15 since uh, since uh, 16 was a hit. I'm just gonna say that it's not like they're wearing armor or anything. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, but it's still higher than than 12. So. Yeah. I know the small ones had 12, I think. Oh. Aww. And also the small, the scorpion imps, uh, yeah, was like 12 or max yeah. 12? 12 AC. And I think... Uh, and like it... 10 HP or something. Yeah, 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 that. because I did how much I did with the burning hands, do I remember? That's yeah, but true. they have very low HP and uh, AC. I have, I have made it to the yellow dot. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I copied the first information in. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. You notice how you're going, that like, like two bigger groups of these flying spiky guys pass on the side of you. Can't they just give us a break? Like, seriously? I don't know if the open road is the best, but that's all we got. We are on open road right now? Oh. More or less. Mm, sort of. There's plane. no other than open road here. No uh, trees? No nothing? Uh, not continuous. I mean, there's oh, okay, a okay. patch of trees here, patch of trees there, but it's a savannah. So it's a patch of trees and then two kilometers without anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to push the horses and yeah, yeah. yeah. At least four more hours. Going for four hours. I mean, hours. most if they don't quit till the That's point six where six more feet, six more fields. If they don't quit uh, before uh, before we are, you know, we have our horses exhausted, we will just fight them and yeah. But I mean, I don't see any other option. Yeah, second up. Wait, that's the actually, second one. Actually, wait, it's not a great idea because they will know exactly where we stopped. Yeah, that's true. So let's try to fight them faster. Like one hour before we actually want to stop. That's what I would say. Okay. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. Um. Okay, so we've been going for eight hours since a long rest. Mm -hmm. So the twelve fields. I guess we could push it like two more hours or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, eight hours was here. Yeah. Eight hours. Okay. Then two more. One square. <laughs> One square or something. Um. Ten hours. Hours, give me animal handling. Uh, come on, I have to succeed at some point. No! It's oh, like a horse. boss! <laughs> My uh. horse is so displeased. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other horse is lightly galloping around. Lux for the horse is like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and I have the shittiest horse, guys! <laughs> so here, here's, the shit, here's the thing. 
Lux for Tors is actually the shittiest. It's probably overweight or old. <laughs> because <laughs> everyone who wrote that fucking beast failed his check. Yeah. <laughs> it's not our fault, your horse is shit. His name is Mighty Horse. He's pretty awesome in his ways. Stop pretending, Lux for. <laughs> I live in denial, okay? Yeah. My, my yeah. horse gets all the chicks. So, a short rest? <laughs> Maybe three hours, something. Uh, Give me are they still following check us? If you find some water. Um, I could check for them. Wait, who has the best survival? I will inspire the shit out of you. That's nah, probably you. <laughs> I have four plus survival. I oh, water. I'm pretty sure water <laughs> was not invented. <laughs> the nature double one. <laughs> Come on. The NFL is there going through sand. Lose guys, they found water. <laughs> No, she's probably pointing and one of the horses pissing on the ground. <laughs> oh, <Kappa. laughs> hey, uh, Mr. Prince, I found water, here you go. <laughs> yeah, you tasted it first. <laughs> do, I, do we see anyone uh, chasing us up in the sky? Mm, not close, something passes by. Then one of them like latches a bit behind you. But it's keeping distance, so it's like a long circle, you see it from time to time. Okay. Hmm. So, okay. can we find water or not? Yeah, you found some water. Nothing glorious. It's a bit of water, it can refresh the horses a bit, but the water is muddy. It's nothing nice. We have well, no clerics, so damn it. Mm, yep, sucks to be us. Okay, so... so any plan for the day, aka night? Well, we'll move on. on. Um, Just take care of the feel... horses. Easy do we, do we feel, like, we feel the like the horses can go on? Not Luxford, not for much longer. I mean, you can definitely push like 3-4 hours out of there more. Let's try, let's try two, two more hours. Luxford, let's switch horses again. <laughs> I don't trust you with my horse. <laughs> yeah, I don't, you, you should trust yourself with a fucking horse. <laughs> uh, Whoever's riding broken horse, man. A broken horse. You need, you need some bardic. Can I bardically inspire the horse? <laughs> broken horse is so good. Yeah, you can actually. <laughs> Alright, all right. I'm just going to assume that I inspire him next time to the point where it affects his animal handling because I don't want to have to like game time it. Then... <laughs> Give me broken horse. <laughs> Alright, uh... broken horse, listen to this. This is Rush to change your life. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it, it pull the rest of it. <laughs> Fucking broken horse. Are we? <laughs> are we? Are we the horse, since the, you let the horse have the best water and very nice to it, it sort of starts feeling better. Yay! It should have managed the four more hours. Four, six two more hours. But if it is six more hours, it will be very tired tomorrow. Okay, I. Uh... Let's not force it to the limit. I would say. Five and half six, I would say. If there's a mountain pass we can get to that would restrict vision that these things can have on us, like maybe if we could get put place like yeah, a mountain he, or here mound. these mountains. If you search for a bit, you should be able to find something definitely. Because if we can put anything between us and yeah, the yeah. portal, I assume visually, I think that would help our cause greatly. Yeah, at least give them less attacks, uh, opportunity attacks, like, like definitely cover for us. I vote for that. Sure. I'm in. Will you spend the next few hours and give me a survival check? Everyone? Mm -hmm. Well, unless you send one person to search and the rest of you does nothing. No, we shouldn't split up. Okay, Venek, you find some cave, like a mountain pass with a cave in it. 
It's pretty large. It's like cave, more like a tunnel, let's say, but but large one, natural one, which gives you great cover from upwards and is large enough to hide the horses in it. Nice. Nice fight. Nice. Venic. No one is hiding. <laughs> First up, hiding and running. <laughs> Especially running. <laughs> Useful I'm, skills. I'm good at two things. Hiding and running. <laughs> no, hiding and if hiding fails, I'm running. Yeah. It's plan A and plan B. The true yeah. is plan a hit. Yeah. Yeah, you can spend the night easily. Okay, we'll do it. Long rest, again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long rest. Them horses. Okay. The next morning, I guess we're just gonna get to the town as fast as possible. Yeah, push it. Even if the horse, even if broken horse dies. Yeah. He will survive. Well, the, the awesome thing is, once Broken Horse dies, we know that we should not push our horses any further. Let yeah. Broken Horse be yeah, the example. Yeah, it's like 10 me. hours of trip to the, to the village, uh, which is about the daily amount you can travel. Actually, you can travel a bit more because now you will get from the savannah into grassland, but where the horses will be much happier and more able to move. Now it's a happy horse. Give me perception. Oh fuck, I see nothing. Yeah, as, as you travel, you notice somewhere like some one of these demon flying beasts like fly like fly, gliding far and then swooping down and not coming back up. You were somewhere here, and where you saw it was like this way. So he glided down and not up again. Yeah, not coming fast up. Escort, you saw the same thing. Yeah. Not coming fast, uh, fast up, or not at all. Yeah. Well, if you look for five minutes, let's say you don't see it coming up. Yes. Okay, then Seems I guess something. we should. I will tell to the group this, and I suspect that they might try to ambush us or something, or they are several demons there, or whatever they are. Yeah, maybe some resources of some kind. I don't know. You could get them caught yeah. too. Maybe food, maybe... Mm. I'm uh, afraid to not uh, have a kind of a few guys I'm pretty sure their to... food is us, so I wouldn't want that. Maybe they get caught. Could be. Could be. Esco, do you want to um, do you want to scout out as our stealthiest, and I'll give you some dice to inspire you? you yeah, inspire, inspire me, man. Ready, <laughs> ready for them to inspire. inspire. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's not what your country can do for you. <laughs> I guess that works better around Americans. Man. Yeah. <laughs> America, fuck yeah. Here we go. Be inspired. Go. So uh... stealthing up and going to check it out. Exactly. And I have a D6 to use whenever? Correct. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. so... You see a group of these demons, two bigger flying ones and like four smaller ones, uh, apparently feasting on what likes a bunch of humans, at least, at least 15, 20. Give me insanity safe. Um, how do I do that? D20 plus four. 1d20 plus 4. Oh. <laughs> now, before he says anything, before he tells you the result, you may be able to throw your bardic inspiration die at that to try and. Give me the hundred. Uh, that's true. What? No, I want a bardic inspire. Maybe a tennis enough. Inspiration yeah. doesn't work on this. Oh, oh okay. okay. Uh, never mind them. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I, I I'll just keep that. <laughs> oh yeah. I think we are screwed because most likely you might run into them like, Hey guys, what? <laughs> Fuck. 
that good? Bad? Good? 11 is good. Uh, no, low okay. is better. You guys, you see Escort is not coming back. Can I, can I choose to go back? <laughs> or am I insane? In the membrane. I think we should try to check it out. Yeah, if it, if it doesn't come back, we definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Not coming back, you see Escort hiding by some trees. Com looks like completely frozen. Frozen? As as you, you... Yeah, as you go there, you see the bunch of demons is feasting on like 15, 20, 20 humans. Give me insanity check. No, Safe. I will not, oh, I will not uh, look for mistake. where those demons are. Easy. I will look only for him. I've seen those demons before. But, but as you go to him, you cannot not notice it. Oh, so oh you're so cheating on this shit. Let's see here. Did we all go to him? I feel like... Uh, and give me the hundred. I, mean, I, I would definitely have to. Oh, for fuck's sake. I, def some... I definitely would have stayed back, just gonna say. I, I, I definitely would have gone there. Take him out. Okay, Jennifer will, will start attacking Venek. Oh. Are you there. kidding me? Yo, Yo vision, vision turns, turns red, take out the knife and jump at Venek. Okay. Right, I assume that makes clatter, in which case, and then I will kind of come forward. Well, Venek, let's have a fight! Can I react to that? Mm hmm. I will uh, jump I mean, at the Jan and. Uh, yeah, you never would have did an attack on, on Venek at least one. I guess I'm going first and she tries to stab me in the back using a dagger. Something like that, yeah. So, what should I roll? I'll make you the dagger real quick. Mm hmm. Go for the crit. <laughs> She's so, so Watch the nasty. natural 20 here, like, come on. <laughs> here comes the natural 20. <laughs> okay, you got it there. So. <laughs> uh, is a draw between AC and hit a hit? Um, a hit. Meter B. Uh, so I hit, hit you. Mm -hmm. Give me damage. She hits you from the behind for seven. Nice. You oh my <laughs> god. Okay, I will try to grapple her down. Mm -hmm. Give me both, give me athletics checks. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> At least she's weak. You have grappled her. And I will uh, try to keep her restrained. Let me go, you fucking asshole! I don't- I need to kill that guy! You see- you see how Jennifer has the foam coming from her mouth as he's mumbling something and trying to move the dagger? I'm gonna put uh, something over Jennifer's mouth so she doesn't alert the small demon posse that I guess I haven't noticed, so sanity throw, one moment. Sorry, Are just you, playing along. You time to check around. Oh, okay, so Yeah, you can hold it down without much problems. <laughs> okay. How's, uh, how's Escot? Uh, Escot after a bit unfreezes and can look around. <laughs> ah. Crazy, huh? I'll uh, regroup with these guys and uh, I will watch. Eight minutes later, Jennifer will come back to her senses. Okay. Red haze in front of your eyes disappears. Mm, you what notice happened the, again? You notice Venex blood on your dagger and realize what you have done. Oh shit. We'll talk about this later. Let's avoid them. <laughs> um... Okay, I see uh, that she comes down and I will... Also, no, again, now, Lux now you get a detail too. on how the demons actually eating the humans. It's pretty brutal because they're eating it with everything. Bones, clothes, everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Escot Escot. will uh, move towards Yennefer and whisper, how did, how did it feel like? I've always oh, it, fantasized about that. It felt very good. Oh, you can't imagine. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. yeah. And now, now it's get suddenly kind of terrified about Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> and <it> moves away. 
<laughs> Mission complete, yes! <laughs> I, I will walk to Vanek and give him a uh, lay on hand. So I give, give him for five. Okay. Are we continuing? I don't even know there's mm. demons there. Are you guys saying there's demons there? Or are we just yeah, yeah. Mm, screw, screw them. them. Do we want to attack them or we want to press? I would just go away. Alright. Let them be, that will uh, make more harm. I mean, uh, we saw, whoever saw what happened there, except one person, I think, uh, got kind of got uh, insane a bit. So I would not want to try that again. Plus, we have somewhere better to be, I think, rather than, rather try, than to try to stop some demons eating corpses. All good points. All good points. Yeah. Let's continue to the village. Yeah, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. You, yeah. As you're getting closer to the village, you start seeing some orange glow up in the sky. Oh shit. Arcana! More insight. Nothing magical to be seen there. Mm, yeah. Well, this is usually what fire looks like. Yeah. Oh. Fire. Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> you make orange. us roll for freaking fire? Seriously? You don't see it, you're far away. I mean, we made it somewhere here and you see it. Fire! fire. fire. Well, <laughs> I'm happy that someone can notice a fire from far away. If Real far away. Escott will rush inside the town, the burning town. I guess it's burning. Yeah, when you get closer, you see it burning. Do we see people? Uh, you see people screaming, trying to escape, and demons catching them and eating them. I'll try it... to save one person. Can I Give find one person? How many demons? A lot of them. Most of the flying ones. Fuck! I don't think we should actually What's, be here. Uh... Yeah, we should run. What's many of them? At least 50. Oh, wow. No, I think we should totally not be here. What catches your eye the most is like a large flying creature with a person with red hair on it, sitting on it. The large mm -hmm. creature. Yeah, let's hide. It's like a de deformed creature with leathery wings and claws, which sometimes shrieks and then grabs the person, tears it in half and bites into um. it. And your good old friend Rosaria sitting on top of that beast. Well, wow, that's beautiful. We were never friends, actually. So. I don't know if running will be enough. I think we need to hide. Yeah, ben yeah. A. Let's hide. Ben a for... Okay. So Benek sees Escort ru rushing into the town, and then immediately rushing out again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened, Escort? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Everybody, I'm, get out I'm, of I'm blowing the wad. Everyone, take a bardic inspiration die now. Oh my god, everyone! <laughs> I'm stopping for this shit. The <laughs> time for everyone. Okay, I will. I will run my fastest. Health, yeah. I mean, I uh, don't. Th oh, you have a D6. Yeah. Oh. oh shit. God. Or... Doesn't matter. It's a critical Guys, fail. really? <laughs> What's with that to a critical <laughs> fail? I thought you could only crit fail on attack rolls. I think we're screwed because they will be seen. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. hiding. So yeah. So where are you moving? Like from where to where? Assist me. But where were. I think we'll try to go outside of the town. Yeah. Like uh, somewhere on the opposite side where everyone yeah. is, you know, something there, like that. There seem there seem to be a lot of forest here, so we're just gonna hide in the forest, right? right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And move around town. Anything that'll give us like canopy cover against flying sons of bitches. Yes, trees, everything, and everything like similar mm -hmm. to yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so this forest, like here, is a bit of a thicker forest. Uh, yeah. Hi there. That sounds like it's my cup of tea.
By the way, the session is about to end, right? Well, like thirty more, half a more hour. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah usually it's like that. Time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fight here, so we can roll, I guess. So or as you as you're going, some things like come out from the ground. It's a it's deformed beings, like half liquid, half human, made of flesh, seeps out from the ground and starts lashing after you, your horses and you. Yes, I'll... I will throw up instantly. I'll yell to. Uh... Well, here's your body. Grab on now. <laughs> so this is, squishy okay, this is, uh, this this is, is your chance, and you can roll for initiative. Okay. Because how they emerge from the ground, they're not so fast. So. Yes, I succeeded. Six. Oh, that's six. <laughs> we have both six. Oh God. They want hey. the high effect. <laughs> Lower. <laughs> <laughs> is that for all, or are there big ones? Uh, and... For the two types, I'm rolling separately. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I for sure like that. Four, four. So there's like seven, of, seven of them coming out from the ground around you. They don't have any they weapons. Have any weapon. Hands, claws. Which one is like more intimidating? Missing half of the body. Probably the darker ones look like yeah. tougher. They, they have some claws. They have some claws on the hands. Oh, oh more. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm preparing reinforcements. Chill. Okay. That's good to know. So, Sorry, just reviewing my. Uh, I just review my spells. One second. Alright, I did not grab what I wanted, but that's okay. I'm going to cast... Uh, how far? I'm just going to use the ruler tool. One second. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really work here, does it? No, but the... Um, from... I guess one square is five feet now, when we were fighting. Yeah, yeah. one square is five feet. Alright, one square is five feet. Cool. I'm just going to read up on fairy fire. Okay, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire in a 20-foot cube. Let's see here. That would hit. Everyone? Well, I'm not going to center it on myself. It's got a 60-foot range, so I'm going to try and hit as many of the guys in the bottom right corner without hitting anyone in our party. Let's see where if okay. I Okay. Which can be done. So yeah, let's yeah. see here. So the four of them, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Dex 30 saving throws, DC 15. Mm -hmm. okay. These monsters are very dexterous. Hmm. Okay, everybody failed. Alrighty, so now attack rolls against them will be made with advantage. Nice. Sweet. And I will pass my turn. I'll uh, Escort. move in. Uh... Maybe try to... Uh, do they look damage? damaged? Mm, no. Well, hard to, it's hard to tell. You don't know what they look I'll, like, you know. I'll fight the one next Otherwise. to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I try to stealth or something like that? No one's not beside really. You're on a horse. Oh, okay. Uh, so a normal attack then. Uh, can I jump down the horse with my movement? Mm hmm. Definitely. Okay, give me damage. Nine. Then I will uh, bonus action disengage. Mm hmm. Now I will, uh, 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 <laughs> and here, maybe. 
Or There's really no safe place. Yeah. Guys, I don't know how to say, but I'm not exactly a tank. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Remember next to time. give a disadvantage too. Yeah, I I wouldn't stay as close to you as possible. Which one did you attack? Uh, this one. Next this time. one. Oh yeah. Okay. It has more than nine HP. Yes. Prince Barak. Uh, one second. Uh, I think I'm gonna use my disengage action. Oh, we we only have one tank. Sucks. Can I make my horse attack? Or would that be an action? That's an action if you. I mean, the horses are not really for combat. They are, they, are they stay in it, but they don't really find out that they have to, and they are disgusted by this being and afraid. My war horse has an action called hoof. Which is a melee attack. You can use it as an action. Well, that would be a waste, I can just attack it myself. Yeah. Uh... Well, I could use my... No, I'm just gonna pull my... pull out my rapier and attack the one in front of me. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, where is it, the rapier? Ah, oh, fucking hell. Action search the shit. Again. Please stop moving ah. the creatures. What the actual fuck? Wait a minute. It was you have hit. a bardic inspiration die if you want to use it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use Bardic. it in the Both hit. Wasn't it, uh, Both hit? Actually, oh. you have one attack, so first one hit. I have action search. Okay, both okay. hit. But yeah, I attack first. Let's see if I kill it. Probably not. No. Then the second one, 15. Now you do. Okay, so uh, their HP is higher than 9 and lower than 15. Yes. And their hmm. AC is lower than 8. Oh, and okay. Eight. You can call them some mud type of demons, or I don't know. Yeah, they I've, seem I've, muddish. I've had it. I've Who had was that goo to... villain from that Power Rangers movie? Yeah, Ivan I, Ooze? I, I, Ivan Ooze, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's the shit. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, yes, of course. Uh, now I want to actually ask, uh, what would be my range if I use uh, Burning Hands? Can I catch all of these guys, or at least these four? Oh, uh, should be... Cone. Unless you want to fry a scout, it would be like this. A cone. So you catch these four in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, I guess I will do that. But also the advantage is only for attack rolls and not... Uh... Yeah, I didn't mean to click that. Oh. So, do you see the saving throw? No. Oh, come on. You hurt all of them. And uh, it, they remain with the... Uh, they have to... T they take damage over time, yeah? This one dies. Uh, not over time, no. Uh, this one burns. burns. This one burns to death and the rest are a bit... Ooh. Fried. So, 10 HP. That's the one that you attacked, right? Yeah. Okay. I think it's Luxford's turn now. You uh, note My, it down, uh... Vinic. Or what? The text? It has uh, 10 HP. Total. 10 HP, okay. The small ones? Yep. Okay. Yeah, the pink guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Isn't it the white zombies turn? Because you got the five. Sorry, you know, disconnected twice during the speech. It's uh, the smaller zombies. Uh, flesh. Ah, one of them is five. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are attacking them. Let's check who I have. Ashir and. I'll use my reaction on Ashir. And one in effort. So. 
Thank you, Luxford. Um, miss. And more of them crawl out from the ground. Which, which one tried to punch me? The one next to you. But which roll? Actually, your first one, the 14. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I hit you. For three. You hit who? Ashir. Okay. Uh, how did the seven hit? Oh, it's the 14. Uh, and and Luxford. Yeah, uh, I will uh, use the Divine Favor. It gives me 1d4 plus on my attacks. And I attack mm -hmm. the, the darker one. Mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Uh, uh, 17 should 21. be it. No, 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 I did wrong. Uh, In a roll from the character sheet. Yeah. No, it's correct. It's uh, 10 damage. Don't you have a uh, weapon in your Best character sheet? <clears throat> the roll is from the character sheet. I mean, at core, you have your weapons. So if you just click on it, it will roll. Yeah, like that. See, and that's let, an let, actual let, 20. Let's take, yeah, let's take the crit. <laughs> okay. And then you press the mace after that. You smash his head. Actually, wait, give me the mage. Yeah, so press you click the, on the mace. mace. No, uh, the mace that's name. Me, yeah. In the chat. Yeah, so okay. cursor over the maze name in chat. Mm -hmm. Like that. He squashes yeah. head. It's that too. The radiance. <laughs> it did exactly the same damage as the first roll. <laughs> 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 Even though it was a crit. Uh. So the first one goes on the NFO and the second one goes on Luke's Luxford. Good. Jennifer Luxford. It has more than 10 HP. Seven misses. Damage. If it's and in the way you the second said. one is for me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. all misses, I think. Yeah. yeah. And more of them crawl from the ground. Well, oh, each shit. turn. Ashir, your turn. Alright, so I like the sleep spell, so I'm not casting it, so one moment. Need a... Uh... Teleportation circle or something. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. let's see here. That's gonna obviously not all gonna fall asleep, but pretty much everyone in front of me <laughs> and the guy to my right. Let's see what happens. Mwah, mwah. This one and this one's fall asleep. Hmm. Mm. And I'm out of bardic inspiration, so now I'm just gonna. You know, past turn. That's good. Um, kind of just want to run away. <laughs> Where? Uh, can I turn to Rel and see how he's reacting to this? Like just. Look at him. What is he doing? He's sitting there at other rock looking bored. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're getting killed here and he's bored. Jesus. Well he's a fucking ghost. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, care. no fuck was given. Yeah, um Just kill the motherfucker. Yeah, I guess. I'll just fight the one uh, beside me and uh the, the thing is, we are cornered anyway, so we need to Looks at forward. least. We could try to fight the way out to one side, and then run. Yeah. Which one do you hit, Escort? The uh, big one next to me, and. Uh, that one is Luxford. dead. Uh, that one took damage before from Luxford, right? No. Did he die? No. Okay. It was That's a different one. One shot. Okay. So the 10 damage killed one. Okay, nice. Wenek. 
Uh, I'm gonna put away my rapier, take out my crossbow, and shoot at this one. Mm hmm. Okay. It's dead. You shoot it through the head and it collapses. <laughs> it didn't even roll damage. It had one HP left, so. Yeah, okay. at one HP, you had to roll zero. <laughs> yeah, never. Uh, yeah. I think I will totally want to do something like. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, for Can, I do, Can I do that? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Jennifer, when you killed that last one, did you add give yourself temp HP equal to your charisma modifier? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, oh is that blood? blood? That's one of your abilities. Is the uh, fiend pact demon? Uh huh. Fiend pact uh -huh. warlock. Ah, just so you know, a little bit of sponge. Okay. Okay, so another burning hands. Does that one damage again? Yeah? No? Uh, I think that's damage. 11, it's 11. Okay. That's a fail. Oh my, oh my success. god! Nah. <laughs> Is that a Who double? Moved? What the shit? Yeah. yeah, that's a double natural, let's say, 20. <laughs> and this one burns. And yeah. I will try to maybe uh, wait. I will try to move. Actually, no. I'm sitting good here. <laughs> yeah. Between me and Escott. Our turn. Get those sweet temp HPs. Yeah, I decided to vanish. <laughs> oh fuck. They are moving in. Wait, yeah. if I stop hiding, I want to attack you. Yeah, I tried to get my token back. <laughs> I need to arrange them into the grid. Well, they have a shit chance to hit. That's the good thing. Yeah. Even against me, they only have a 50 50 chance. So, the way I see it is one for Venek, one for Eshir, two for Luxford, two for Escort, and one for Yennefer. So last so, one, it's mine, yeah. Yeah. So, so Venek, are you giving him disadvantage, Venek? Yeah. Yeah. He's imposing disadvantage, right? On which on attack? attack? On yeah. uh, the ones adjacent to him, right? right. Hopefully, if they attack someone else. I don't really know if uh, I have to call before or. Okay. Yeah, it's when somebody makes an attack, you can say as a reaction that he gets a disadvantage if he's next to and attacks someone else. So you could give disadvantage to the one that's attacking a shear, and that's about it. Oh, right. okay. Then I do that. Thank you. Okay, okay. two for you. Luxford. Okay, I Ooh, took uh, one. Looks like a hit. Five damage. Two for Escort. And one for Yennefer. One hit. Three damage. And mine? You are missed. <laughs> one. Not enough, I think. Yeah, 11. So. Lux, but your turn. Yes, I will uh, slam one uh, that uh, is uh, in front of Ashir. Mm -hmm. Come at me. Did I have the Bardic Inspiration? I believe that's a hit. Yeah, yeah that's a hit. But you they, do they, still they, have it. They have less than 8 AC. 8 damage. I think Plus uh, 1d4. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Still alive. You hit which one? The one in front of Ashir. Wait, this one is asleep, so these guys go after you. Um. Aren't we a bit in a, like, you know, the middle of the sandwich or something? So, two for Vanek. The second one is hit. Now I know how much damage to deal. 
2d4 plus one. Uh, one for Luxford and one for Escort. Uh, by the way, Luxford, second by the way, wait a second. My uh, initiative disappeared from there because I by accident. Deleted. Ah, you deleted the token. Yeah, you yes, and I. Was... Yeah. Okay, give me some you initiative take... also. We'll get there. Okay. Do you have the same as me, six? Okay. Um. Maybe we should reposition for uh, Yan to make another burning hands or something. I can't. That was the last one. Uh, okay. <laughs> Out of spell slots. Um, okay, so sleep affects them. Uh, sleep affects creatures in ascending HP. So as long as we have more HP than anything else in the radius, sleep will not affect us. Correct. Yep. Yeah. It goes always for the lowest first. I don't know if I should do it in the center and let him choose who falls asleep, or if I should pick a strategic angle. It doesn't matter. Probably doesn't matter. If you hit yeah. it from the middle, it will always hit the HP targets anyway. Oh yeah, you're right, you can't choose unless they have Alright, um, last spell slot from Ashir. Let's, let's keep some people alive. Boom. Nice. Nice. Very good roll. Everyone goes asleep? Uh, two of them. I think one more. Oh, two more. Five. Five. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we can try Six. to run away. I would Seven. suggest. Keep going. Seven of them. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh. Ah, shit. I would run away, honestly, because I don't think this will stop. Uh, let's see. I can't because I'll get shredded to death. <laughs> Um, by mm. attacks of opportunity, so I just gotta stand. The thing is, you have, yeah, have shit attacks. Well, you're sort of sandwiched, so you don't really have where to move anyway. <laughs> That's a good point. We don't yeah, need yeah. them. Just, fi fight. just fight your way out, kill one, and then leave. <laughs> I suggest uh, we try to get out of the way, like, uh, I will try to get out from here, you know, kill this guy, maybe, that, uh, come on, this one, and maybe everyone else can try to follow, or, I don't know. We, we can just ignore the attacks of opportunity. They mm -hmm. hit so, so poorly. Shouldn't be a yeah. problem. The AC kind of sucks. Though. Give me damage. Uh-huh, still alive. Ugh. Yeah, that one wasn't that, so two more damage. Yeah, they have 10 HP. How long does uh, the AC one, sleep? One minute. Enough. Yeah, that's 10 turns. Yeah, exactly. We got time. If this was normal D&D &D and we would need XP, then we would kill them one by one, but yeah. Yeah, here it's kind of pointless. Okay, you have a turn. If, if Escort is not moving anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, how did, well, the, how did yeah. they uh, appear? The... From the ground? From the ground, they like like moved up from the ground, dig themselves up. Dig themselves, okay. So... Nick, you here? Yep. Um, hmm. I guess I'm just attacking the small one in front of me. With the rapier. Oh no, mm -hmm. with the crossbow. Uh, are you sure you want to attack a guy that is sleeping? Yeah, because you, you pinged this one. Yeah, but it's Not the top one. one. Why do you don't want to kill the top one? Well, because we are leaving to the south. Well, if you kill the top one, we can get out that way anyway. But if you kill, if you attack the yeah, bottom one, then they get I, one I, more attack. I guess, I guess, I guess that's true. Yeah, then I'm gonna attack, attack that one. Mm -hmm. Come at I'm me. having disadvantage, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, give me damage. Yeah, 
Ah, fuck. Still alive. Still alive. And I don't have action, action search anymore. So, one for Benek, two for Luxford. One should hit on Luxford. Yes. Two damage. God damn. Okay, I attack the top one. The one above me. Mm hmm. That's a hit. Give me damage. Nice. Kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, nice. that's a kill. It sounds like delicious. Mm, we are asleep, so Ashia's turn. Huh. Do I get the sense that more will pop up, or do we think that we've seen the bulk? None have popped up since the second round. We could just kill all of them. I like that idea. I'm I gonna. Mean, I'm gonna use if we try to kill them all, be careful. We the ones that have spell slots are kind of out. So. Yeah, but... Yeah, but yeah, but don't worry, we'll just, just, we'll just all use our reactions. I'll use our action to ready an action to attack the guy that one of us wakes up. <laughs> and I got no spell slots left. Yeah, zero yeah. spell slots. Same yeah, yeah, but Asha is the only one that relies on spell slots. Yeah. Okay. You have at will damage, I do not. But I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery at the wake guy. Uh, the one, only one who's awake still. To a wake. I'm sorry, the yeah, one is... Do them. But this one is hurt already. And Lux can one. probably yeah. one-shot this one. Sorry, one second, I gotta recenter my map, something just happened. Okay, one second. Yeah, this is Mockery at the one, two Ashers of the one I'm adjacent to, the one I'm touching. Wait, never mind. Ah, huh, no. I'm gonna stab with a rapier for the first time ever. I'm gonna stab. <laughs> okay, give me the me. Give me an attack and damage. A hit and. Ignore that second bit. Six damage. <sighs> He's dead. And then I'm gonna move and right next to Yen. You moved somewhere else. Oh no, you didn't. It was just a monster. Alrighty, and then Ask, I do. Ascot's turn. I, can I go up here? Attack it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can move between the people. Diagonally and attack it. Give me damage. Boom. Oh, he's dead. Where is he? Yeah. Nope. Still standing. Oh. Are you kidding me? Ian's turn. Which one? The fat one? No, that this one. Wait a second. He so be dead. Yeah, that was eleven damage, and they have uh, uh, ten. I think. I think yeah, these. Yeah, I made are... eleven before, and uh, he didn't die. Yeah, I think these mm. are less. Okay. Okay. okay, so I should be able to Elvish blast from here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And these have less. Oh, he's oh, oh, my god, oh, dead. Fuck him. <laughs> Yeah, he's like out there. He bought into pieces. <laughs> yeah, everyone's asleep, Reds. Run. Well, you can pretty much finish up all all of them asleep. Yeah. If you want to, it will take like a couple of turns, but yeah. Oh yeah. Just yeah. be no problem. Just, just... Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a good spot to end for today. Cool. Since we have, yeah. Fulfill the time, and right now there is no imminent danger on top of you, at least as far as you know. Mm -hmm. So thank you for coming, and next week on Wednesday. Yeah. And we are now moving to Wednesdays, oh, yeah. which will be regular. Yeah, cool. Uh, can I talk to you before you leave, Xel? Definitely. Nice. Well, uh, to your other ones. Uh, yeah, see week. you guys uh, next week. Was uh, cool. Okay, see you all next week. Have yeah, yeah. fun. Bye. Bye. I haven't got all day. Ending transmission.
So guys, uh, that was pretty much it for uh, this session. I want to thank you all for joining and watching and this uh, video will be placed on YouTube as well. I'll upload it uh, as soon as possible. And as you heard, um, the DM, uh, the games, the uh, DND games will be on Wednesdays, back to normal. And yeah, because this time it had to be on Thursday, on yeah, Wednesday actually, well Thursday plus <laughs> I'm kind of after too many hours. Uh, so yeah, next uh, Wednesday I'll try to upload maybe the same day or not. Um, and I also hope that I can upload this video maybe by the end of Friday because it's kind of long I have to make a few uh, to edit it a bit so yeah I think like till the end of Friday should be up so thank you again all for watching and for uh, if you enjoyed it uh, please um, don't forget to follow to subscribe on YouTube and see you guys with the next video